ticket versus. Man, who was all them bums? Who was all them bums they got on open gym, man? <laughs> we, got, we had Dino Bravo down there in the middle and the bottom with the chest hair sticking all out, looking like he on HGH. Then you had a dusty ass Bonnie Williams down in the right hand corner with the hoodie on. I don't know who that was. He looked like a dusty ass Bonnie Williams. <laughs> who are these dudes pulling up on open gym? Y'all letting anybody get run, man. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Then you got one B me's running around here. I heard Crunch or wanna be me running around here talking and causing havoc. Come on, man. Y'all stop playing these games, man. It can only be one ticket. Believe that. You understand? Y'all heard it, and y'all know the drill. I'm dropping a link in the chat right now. If you want to come up, if you got smoke with ticket, this is your time to get it off right here, right now. Uh, we got a couple people in here already. Yo, we're going to get through it quick today. We're not even going to play. I'm going to bring you up. You're going to get your if shit you on. Ain't cooking, if you ain't cooking on nothing, you got to go, baby. Yes, sir. Here we go. Hey, yo, peace. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm doing good. Let's go. All right, man. I just want to ask, what's your uh, opinion about Nikola Jokic, and do you think he's the favorite to win MVP? Hey, you already know. <laughs> you already know he's a great height. Period. Like I said before, bro, <laughs> how can you be an MVP when um you don't play no D? You don't play no defense whatsoever. Your team constantly getting exposed. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said before, uh, you they put stipulations on everybody else. Said everybody else had to win championships, like Giannis and these guys. But this dude ain't. I don't want to hear it. Bro, that's the only thing I came up here to ask. It seems like out of so many people I talk to, it seems like you're the only one who has a fucking brain. So thank you. All right, no doubt. What? <laughs> Wait, damn, he came and it got out. He yeah, basically yeah. came up here and said it. Y'all be capping about that Jokic shit. Now we're going to get on to the next person. Uh, Right in, right out. Yo, P5, what's going on? You ain't that new. Yeah, you ain't no stranger to this platform. Talk Take to us. My boy, my boy, what's up, Ticket? Um, another, another day, another bum. Let's go. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I, I wouldn't even come in like that, but okay. Uh, I just wanted to ask you. It, 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 it's about Jokic. But don't – don't. I'm not even going to ask you about the MVP. What do you think Jokic as a player? Just as a player. I want to I want to hear what – because I hear you compare him to Embiid and Giannis. This and how- me. He's a guy that don't play no D. He's a skilled big man. He has a scoring side. He can pass the ball. He can rebound, but he plays absolutely zero defense, and I have no respect for that. Because the reason why I don't have no respect for that is because he doesn't translate to winning big. And when you don't play defense, you don't translate to winning big. He uh, he doesn't play. He doesn't even put his hands up. So I don't respect no dude like that. And the reason why he does it is because he don't want to get in foul trouble. He don't want to get X out of games. So he knows that if he tries to play D, he's unathletic. He puts his hands up or he tries to shake charges. He's he's in to get fouls tacked on him, which will put him on the bench, which will stop him. Uh, which will cut into his minutes and cut into his percentage of averages that he wants to put up. That dude ain't stupid, man. I played basketball for many years. I know when a dude is out there just bull jabbing it on one end, trying to stay on. He, he's a one side player, and I don't respect that. Okay, so so let me get this right. In your mind, he's a good player, great player, but no, listen, no, he's a good offensive player. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. No effect on no effect. No no effect on winning. No defense. What else you want to know? But his teams on the but his teams his teams the number one seed in the West. That don't mean nothing. How does that not mean anything? Because all the teams in the West are, st- are suck this year or have or have teams that have a lot of injuries, a lot of bull job going on. If you can look at every other team, they got injuries, key guys out. It's it ain't it, it's not a g- good year in the West to gauge things. You know what I'm saying? You can look at every single team, you see problems when the only team that really didn't have too many problems was them. Okay. I, I I didn't I didn't come up here to try and cook or anything because I know I know what happened the last you time. You can't cook. You you can't cook. Yeah, you got fried. But and I'm gonna say this to you though. If you look at it, look at the Clippers. Yeah. They've had Kawhi for half the season almost. They've had a lot of other injuries with Paul George in out the lineup early on. Right? Mm-hmm. Now go down the list. Look at the uh uh all the all the teams that really haven't had injuries are the ones that are up there, Sacramento and those guys like that. Oh, no, yeah. that I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. And yeah, I, you I look understand. at the Warriors, they they're missing Wiggins for all these games. They're missing um what you call a full lot of games, Curry for a lot of games this year. So I mean, bro, if you look at all the other teams, they've had injury problems. Look at the Buck. I mean, look at excuse me, look at the um uh Milwaukee, uh excuse me, Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, what just happened with Ja? What's been going on with the other injuries on that team? With Steven Adams, with the other boy that just got hurt. Then, early in the season for them, they had other injuries on that team. They had other guys out. So, I mean, I really don't count it. Like, when you're looking at that, bro, I mean, look, it's good. Okay. 
And uh, so, uh, another, uh, thing, another thing, I'm always willing to kind of learn the game, and I'm not, and I don't, I'm not one to lie and say that I know everything about basketball. Um, because there's certainly a lot that I don't know in the 2000s or the, or the 90s. Can you tell me like some stars that are kind of forgotten by time and kind of shouldn't be forgotten about? Bro, we talk about this every day. I mean, I bro, like I said, like I said, you can start in in the late 90s, or you want to go to the early 90s. Which one you want to do? Um, just I guess late 90s, 2000s, around that time. All right. Well, like I said, I mean, don't forget about the AIs. Don't forget about the Reggie Millers. Don't forget about the uh. Patrick Ewings. Don't forget about the uh, Alonzo Mornings. Don't forget about forget about low. It's about it's a lot of it's a, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying, bro? You guys discount a lot of stuff. Low, low you want to smoke, man? You really want to smoke, low? In the 2000s, low, I told you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let P5 finish. I'm gonna let P5 finish. I'm gonna let P5 finish. Low, 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 before you get into this, I, I'm, I'm just up here to ask questions. Yeah, I'm gonna let P5 finish. Uh, I, I guess I'll ask you too. Would, would you do you think Steve Francis and Gilbert Arenas are underrated, or do you think they're yes? Perfect? I think they're underrated. I think they're underrated. Who's better? Oh, who who, who he says who he says underrated? He said Gilbert Arenas and Steve Francis. Oh yeah, they both underrated. They both underrated. Who's, they, uh, who's the better player? I think I think Gilbert is better. But what happened, what happened with Gilbert's career? That's close. That's close. I disagree uh, with him. That's that's almost even in my opinion. Um, Gilbert just got he dealt with injuries and then he had a a charge. Oh yeah, doing something in the locker room. Yes. <laughs> uh, and what happened? Because Gilbert Arena started. His I do. I, I, Golden State, but like, why why did he leave there so quickly? I didn't know rookies could do that. I can like I can answer for you. I'm gonna let my let ticket answer. I can he, was, he was he was he wasn't on a, he wasn't on your normal type type of uh of, of rookie deal. You got to go look at Gilbert's story, bro. Like I said, he got out of there. And then got to uh got to Washington, and that's really where he made. It. I mean, he was doing things in that last year in 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 uh, Golden State. I mean, if you go back and look at Gil's story, he, when he came in, he's got sleeping in the locker room, all kind of stuff, man. He had a lot of stuff coming through himself, but he didn't have the normal. He wasn't on that normal five year. What you call it? He didn't come in like that. But go look at where Gil came in in the league. You know what I'm saying? And low. Um, I told you earlier, I'm a Raptors fan. Was Vince Carter, Demar Derozan, just in the 2000s? No. What? What? Okay. No. Um. Yeah. Gilbert. Gilbert was a second round pick, so he wasn't on an extensive rookie deal. And um, when it was time for him to re up on him, um, the reason why both of them, in my opinion, are underrated. A lot of those guards are underrated is because at that time there was this idea like you couldn't be like a, a volume scoring point guard or a ball handler. Like if you're gonna take the role of being a point guard, you had to like facilitate. And so they would um. When things would when they would play basketball, they would tell them like, "Yo, you can't do that," and they would like cut and take him out of the game. Gilbert Arenas actually has a story about like how he got a switch and he was trying to run a, a one four a one four flat, and they mm -hmm. called a timeout like, "Yo, you can't do that." Like throw it into the mm -hmm. big man, and so they they like his bat his eye like his concept of basketball wasn't um, openly accepted. As it would be in like today's game, and so like oh, yeah. there really wasn't that much value of it. Him and Steve Francis about in terms of like the playoffs. Yeah, so and Fran and and um, Marbury. I don't think I don't think VC was that bad of a playoff performer. Um, yeah, I don't think he was that bad of a playoff performer. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying he was great across the board, but I don't think he's as bad yeah. as Demar Derozan. But, but DeRozan, DeRozan is crazy. Like, DeRozan. <laughs> Yeah, DeRozan, oh, DeRozan is historically bad postseason. Performance. How did DeRozan fail? Because I watched him, but I don't. I I I, never, I, 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 that, I, didn't, I didn't analyze DeRozan. He ran into LeBron every time he ran into LeBron. It was curtains. No, I, every... I, I can't believe it's just LeBron. I, it can't. No, it's, not, it's, just it's LeBron. not just LeBron. No, it's not. Well, it's I mean, not it was LeBron. mostly. It was mostly LeBron. That that's yeah, when it, it fell apart. LeBron. That's when it fell apart. Damn near every single year. Failed, like what was the Rosen's problem? He was, with? It was his lack. He 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 was a pretty well. They ran a very predictable scheme, and in mm -hmm. large part because of um the oh, right. abilities. And so uh -huh. because he couldn't shoot, whenever the ball was out of his hands, he just was disengaged. And when the ball was in his hands, it was just easy to defend him. So they knew what he want where he wanted to go. Um, mm -hmm. and then also he wasn't that great of a facilitator at that time. I really don't think he's ever really been that great of a facilitator. But he wasn't like he was a greatest like passer playmaker. So. Like his his potency in a postseason will be like reduced significantly because it was just easier. It was much easier to like contain him versus other stars. All right, last and one also, that I'm also he was a bad defender too. I think he was last one that I'm gonna head out. Who, who's the best friend organization in the league in terms of like like I guess general managing moves or culture or whatever you wanna the Bucks count it. The Bucks. How far back they are you going? Good. They got uh, I'll, right I'll go back to when I started watching basketball. So 2015. 
2016. The Bucks. You would have to say the Bucks from then to now. The Bucks. I mean, when you think about security, they they not like firing and changing coaches like that. When you think about personnel moves, they make good personnel moves to be an underrated market, to be a small market team. They make good personnel moves. They draft well. They, like I said, they make good sneaky free agent moves. They make good sneaky trades. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like we thought they made. I thought they made a whole. The only trade, the only thing I think they did that was bad that I think hurt them was when they chose uh old boy that's over these now over Malcolm Brogdon. That's the only thing I think they did bad in the last I would say ten years. Decade. Yeah, when they when they when they went from Brogdon to Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, that was uh, it. I agree. Um, if, and if if I had to give another name, then I would probably say either Toronto or D- or Denver, one of the two. But All Milwaukee, right. Milwaukee could very well be the. I well, mean, what about the worst? Guess. What about the worst? Um, but you started in 2015. That's why I asked you. Yeah, 2015. 2015. They are. They, they already had everyone. Right. That's what so I'm saying. Who, yeah. Who, who's the worst since uh, 2015? Uh, Yo, P five after this. I got to get the next person off. I got you. I got you. I got you. Pro- probably the Wizards. Probably. No, no, nah, hey, nah, low. Not the All Wizards. Right. All right. Wizards just made the playoffs. Low, the so Wizards what? made the playoff. So what? No, 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 no. They're not the worst, low. Low, so who's what? the worst? Man? Low, well, hold on. Low, low. Who's the worst, low? Who's the worst? It can't be the Wizards made the playoffs, low. Low, the absolute worst, bro. Who can, Who is it? What, Charlotte? Bro, come on, man. Yes. Uh. Yes, low. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, low. But, the, but if you if he go back to it has to be between it has to be between Charlotte. And then I wanted to say Sacramento, but then this year I'm happened. To say right now, no. No, um, I'm, saying, I'm saying, but this year happened with Sacramento. If it wasn't for this year, you could put those two teams in front of them. The Wizards did make the playoffs, and they did try to make moves to get better. They made a trade to get Russ, got him in the playoffs. They did try to make moves to get better. They went and got Porzingis. They went in, they, and Porzingis has not been horrible for them. He's been solid. He's been average around 20 and 10. Oh, wait. It could be Brooklyn, though. No, well, yeah. I have to agree. It could be Brooklyn. Based Somebody said Brooklyn. Base. Yeah, ba- ba- based oh, off of what real. they did bro. really since 2011, it actually bro. could be Brooklyn. It bro, could they actually be got... That's crazy, too, because Brooklyn had, like, pieces. They had hands to work with. Then they oh. would, What did they give up to give that KG and Paul Pierce that year? Uh, they gave low. up, like, like, four or five draft picks. <laughs> Um, they they've been um, they gave up draft picks to get them. They gave up basically their first round pick to get Darren Williams, who was and those um, picks went to Boston, right? Then those went picks to went to Boston, Boston. and they, and they turned Boston out to be Jalen Brown and, and Jason Tatum and Colin Sexton. <laughs> and then what's crazy is when they they traded a pick to go get Gerald Wallace from Portland that turned out to be Damian Lillard. Facts. Um, Damn. Yeah. They they and and now and now a good portion of their picks are out in Houston. Like that might actually that might dead ass be the worst draft. Pick. But let me ask Tick, can I ask you this question real quick? I just got a question, man. Wait, no. <laughs> In the early 90s, right? How many national televised games were there? No, I don't think it was pretty much any national televised game. Okay, I don't so, think I, I don't I mean I mean you had N, you had NBA or NBC though that came on, I think, on the weekends, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, cool. cool, 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 cool. I remember seeing it on Sunday. I remember seeing the games on Sunday. On Sunday, they had games. You come home, whether you went to church or not, you come home for church, the game is on. Facts. If I'm not mistaken. No, in fact, and mostly, facts. And many a times, it'll be the Bulls, like the Bulls versus the Knicks, something like that. Uh, or, 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 and it'll be Marv Albert calling the games. So when you are making an assessment of 90s players like Carl Malone and John Stockton, right? what games are you referring to? No, we're watching the games online. They got full games online. Okay, I mean, so you're saying, you, so saying you go back. You're saying you go, okay. I'm, I'm watch okay. all the games, bro. I study, I'm a student of the game, bro. Okay, all right, like, cool. I understand, like, when you, play, when you play pro basketball, you have nothing to do but watch basketball and talk about it and just be all around basketball. So if you're not practicing, not playing, practice only like an hour and a half. When you go home from practice, bro, you're going online. If you go online right now, you can pretty much look up any full game you want to look up back into, I would say, the late 80s, 90s. Okay. No, that's that's perfect. Okay, that's that's it. As long as you're doing that, that's fine. All right, cool. That's it, man. Yeah, that's no, that's I true. Can. I mean, bro, you can look, like literally you can go right now if you go Google right now or, or YouTube, uh, Chicago Bulls game five in the in the Eastern Conference Finals. You'll have a, they'll have a full game up there. It'll Not be enough. won't be the great. It won't be in HD, but it'll be up there right now. They literally have the, those those pages dedicated to posting those those games. Without a doubt, hey, I, I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, also, right. you, yeah. I mean, you have to listen. I don't come up. No, 
I don't speak on stuff without watching the game. And that's why I told uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Mars. Sometimes I feel like you guys come in. Listen, you, you guys you use said, metrics again, and stuff out, like that out. to say, oh, well, if I put them in this era and do no, this and do that, y'all are taking out the physicality of the game. You guys are taking out take certain it, aspects it. that would make these take guys it. worse players. Jesus. Like, no, for example, it. if I took take Jokic it. and put him back in that take 90s era with all those big men. Earth to take it. Take it. You cut out. Oh, early. my bad. No, I said that you guys. We missed a portion of it. No, I said you guys. I'm here. No, you cut out earlier. So, like, there's a portion of what you said that we didn't hear. What up, dog? I'm right here. Ticket, you good? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you, nigga. I, I, I didn't move. I didn't, nothing happened. What happened? No, you, no, cut, you, you cut, cut out earlier. You cut out earlier, and that's why we're... Oh, my bad. No, no, no. Yeah. What I was saying is, my problem with you and Mars is this. You guys, what you and Mars do is, y'all will sit here and say, oh, well, but if I had put this guy in this era, and you look at the advanced stats, and I add this number, it, uh, it will still be this. It, no, 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 no. When I tell you guys, like, when I come at you guys and argue with you guys about players, I'm going off of what I've seen. I'm going off the numbers in the, in the eye test, right? So it ain't just numbers I'm going off of. I'm going off the eye test, too. So, for example, if I'm telling you that I think Jokic ain't what y'all say he is, it ain't based off of I don't think he can play. It's based off of if you put him in an error, where dudes like Pat Ewing and all those guys were playing, where the league was more physical, they had more guys that were in the league to beat you up. They had more uh, forces in the league. There's no way that dude would have been able to survive. And he don't play D. There's no way he would have been able to survive. First of all, you can take half of his minutes and flush him down the toilet because he wouldn't have been able to play because coaches in that era would not have played him those minutes if he could not play, if he did refuse to play D. This guy doesn't want to put his hands up when somebody's coming to the basket because he don't want to get fouled so he can sit to the bench. I've seen players like that all the time who just basically strictly play offense. Then, yeah, I think he still would translate to be a good passer. But here's the thing. Those passing lanes would be a much more tougher for him to make those passes in because now you got dudes that can body you, touch you. They're all in your passing lanes as far as these big uh, enforcers that are raising their hand on you. So it's not like you're just sitting up there looking over somebody. They got to give you space, and you can just throw it and then throwing darts to people like he does right now. That's not going to happen. Then when you look at the other aspect, if he's posting up, bro, he's getting beat up. He's getting hammered as he comes down in the post. And the ref are letting him play. Jokic does not like that physical play. So a lot of that stuff he was doing then, he wouldn't be able to do back then. Plus, the three ball wasn't as prevalent. So a lot of the threes that he shoot would have been cut off because he wouldn't have been able to take those shots like that then. So when I tell y'all this stuff, man, y'all got to understand, bro, it ain't just about, oh, we're well, we looking at it this way or we looking. No, we're looking at it, bro. If you, if you think about the physicality of the, the way that those guys play, and you look at Jokic right now, Bro, he would not be able to survive. He ain't built like that, bro. It's certain dudes that are, and it's certain dudes that ain't. And he one of them dudes that's not. Okay, Ticket, my only response is, A, I'm only speaking for me. I've never used a hypothetical to say what somebody may have done in one era or another. I've never said that. You are the one who keeps using hypotheticals. No, because, no, no. no. You call him all-time. No, no. You say he's all-time great. So yeah. when we say all-time great, we got to think about errors. We, I can't just no, say, hey, man, he's an all time. No, hold, hold on. I'm going to tell you why. I'm no, going to tell you why. I'm going to tell, tell you why we have to think about errors. I'm going to tell you why, right? Let me ask you a question, Lo. What do you think Rasheed Wallace will be in this era? I don't know, Ticket. That's a no, hypothetical. No, 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 no. I'm asking you a question. I, I don't know. No, but, no, I don't know. A legitimate, but see, that's, a, that's the problem. I don't know, hold on, hold on. Ticket. Oh, here's the problem, Lo. You don't want to do this because I'm asking you right now. Okay, watch this. Ron, what do you think Rasheed Wallace will be in this era? Prime Rasheed Wallace. In this era, 25 and 10, easy. Come on now. Now, look, now, hold on. Now, watch and, that's, and that's fine. Now, hold, hold on. Now, 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 Ron, now, Ron, watch this, Ron. Now, when you say that, now we're looking at his entire career differently. But if he played I, I, in this I, era, I, hold on. I want you to think about this. If we look, if we yeah. think of, and that's why when we say all time, this is the type of stuff they're low in them. This is why I get mad at low. They don't take this into consideration. When we talk about all time and we put, and we take guys like Rashid Wallace. We take guys like Chris Webber and all these other dudes who, who we said oh, they were great players, but we put them in this advanced era, man, with the games they had, bro, we will be talking about them in a different stratosphere and in a different – and then on top of that, if they were able to pick their teams, form super teams, go join up, not the, not the, not the, not the, um, the GMs of the teams, but them, if these guys were saying, yo, I'm going to team up with you, I'm going to go over and play with you, we look at their legacy different. That's why I tell though, like all these dudes that's happening, go ahead, go ahead, Lolo. 
ticket. Hi- oh, go ahead. They, these are all hypotheticals. And no, but speaking, you, wait, like, t- listen, these are hypotheticals that we really don't know the answer to. Yes, we and do. So, and so no, you think, no, hold on, so, so, so you think Jokic is surviving on there? Take it, take it, take it, let me, take it, take it, let me finish. When I'm speaking of players, I'm speaking about them in a relative sense. So the era of which they are compared to. So when I speak about how great of a three-point shooter or a defender or a rebounder someone is, it's relative to their peers. How much better they were from the rest of the league, not how much they were better of all time. No, but you're grading them. Okay, so let me give you an example. You just said the other day that you think Jokic is better than this playmaker and that playmaker all time. I'm yes. saying you low. Hold on, wait. I'm saying you you can't do that because can, if you do that, hold on, hold on. Do that because you would have to make it make logical sense. Me- meaning, meaning, meaning. You would have to take. Hold on, listen. Look, hey, 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 Ricky Smiley, don't you laugh right now, Ricky Smiley? We'll put you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold I'm sorry. on, low. Now I'm gonna say this to you, low, low. I'm gonna say this to you, low. Now watch this, low. If you low, what you do is low. What you do is is this. What you guys are not considering, bro. When you say, "Oh, well, I think Jokic is a better playmaker all time than this guy." You're not taking the effect of okay. If I put Jokic in his era, with the lack of, uh, I mean, with the advent or with the more physical style of defense, and I put John Stockton on one of these dudes in this era with the lax defense, where he would get more inclined to get more assists with even more shooting, more athleticism and stuff that you guys talk about. You guys aren't aren't equivalating that to that. You're looking at what he what. John Stockton did in his time versus what Jokic did in his time, but you're not taking into the that's equation. the best way to you to utilize. So it's it. not because listen, that's no, it no, listen, is. Ticket. No, it's it not, is. bro. It's not, bro. It's not, bro. It's not, bro. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. How else would you do a ticket? Yeah, you're, you're using this. hypotheticals. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna say this to you. Hold on. You think we work now in the present because of how he played in the past and what you saw. You can't compare the two. What you saw back then and what you do know now is different because you developed developed over the years what you should and shouldn't do as a player. So, yes, you may look at Rasheed Wallace as a beast back then, but you can't compare him in this game now because one day don't play straight-up defense. And on top of that, you know what? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Take it as your show. Continue, please. No, no, no. You ain't being rude. Hey, hold on. Okay, I'm cool. letting you cook. I'm going to what you say. If you you're going to say – no, no. Let me finish, please. If you're going to say Rasheed Wallace playing in this time, that's very hard because that's the same thing like me saying Bernard King right now would be better than KD. You see what I'm saying? You can't say certain no, things No, no, like no. Hold on. Let me tell you why I said that. Let me tell you why I said that. Let me tell you why I said that. Hold on. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you why you can't say that. Go ahead. King played in a physical league. Bernard King played where – a three points wasn't even counted, but he was dropping 40 like it was nothing. I don't remember, but I heard stories. So going to Thank KD you, now, KD is a more fluent player with more spacing and can get that open shot. So I'm an old head. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. All right, here's what I'm saying, right? What happened to KD when they played a little physical defense with him last year with the Boston Celtics? In the playoffs. I agree with you. He he ah, 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 ah. Don't say nothing, low. Low. Don't you say nothing, low. Put yourself I on me. You. I'm about to demolish this nigga. Hold on, low. I'm about to send this nigga a I'm about to send. Hold on. I'm about to hit him. Hey, I'm about to hit him. New. Hey, hold on, Ron, Ron. I'm about to hit him. New Jack City style. I'm finna send him a lullaby. So first of all, mm-hmm. what happened when they played? When they put the '90 style defense on on KD last year? What, what happened to him? Did he get shut down? Again, hypotheticals with the- Did he get oh, shut down? This ain't no hypothetical. These are facts. Did he oh, get no, shut no, down? No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold right. on. What happened right. when they played right. the 90 style physical defense on KD last year? Did they shut him down? Yes. yes. Did ahead. he win a game? Did he win a no. game? No. Okay. So now, so now, so now I'm taking a taste of what he would have dealt with on a nightly basis in the, in the nineties defensive wise. And I'm giving that to you again now, a piece of that in this era. So when I say the stuff that, hold on, hold on, sir, hold on. When I say the stuff that I say, sir, it's because when I say that Rasheed Wallace will come to this era and Ron says he'd average 25, you know why we say that? Because Rasheed Wallace was ahead of his time, even though he wasn't a guy putting up 20 and 10 back in that era. He played in a way more defensive era, but guess what? His game was more advanced for this era. He was a pick and pop, uh, power forward. That was a, a excellent three point shooter, and he was one of the dudes. Him, Cliff Robinson, they were the dudes who, who at, at revolutionized that game before we even knew what that was. Then you had KG come on from that, 
with the little face-ups, mid-range pull-ups and stuff like that. He wasn't shooting threes, but that was the evolution of the big man shooting the threes. And if you, I'm saying if you would have put Rasheed Wallace in this era where they played less defense, he was a very physical player, and he had he had great finesse. Bro, his 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 statistics would definitely go up because of what he did a, a stronger defense a defensive set in his. I have a, I have a count. Okay, you can go for it. Matt, Matt, we count it. Yeah, yeah, go. It's only gonna take two. It's only gonna take two seconds. I got this is my though. count. You said KD played ninety styles defense for how many games did he play in that defensive style? No, I didn't say KD. I said that with the Boston no, they, Celtics the play. No, the 90s defense on KD, right? You said how many games did they do that? That's what I'm asking. What the niggas? They, 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 hey, it only took, hey, it only took four games to get him out of there. Okay, okay. So you're basing four games off of a career of a season. No, Why? I'm showing you. No, this I'm giving you I'm a asking. taste. No, no, you're not hearing me. I'm giving you a taste of what guys who played in the 90s, the type of defense they got. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me answer the question. Hold on, hold on, let me answer the question. Hold on, let me answer the question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me answer the question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. No, you asked me a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Brian, Brian, Brian. Brian, you asked me a question, Brian. Brian, Brian, you asked me a Hey, Brian, hold on, Brian. Brian, Brian, how are we going to do this? Brian, how are we going to do this? You asked me a question. Then when I start to answer your question, you cut me off. You asked me a you. question. No, 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 no. I ain't I'm talking to Brian. No, no, I'm talking about, no, 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 no. I'm saying no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, Brian. No, no. You can't ask me a question. Then when I start to answer your question, then you cut me off. All right, ticket. Answer. Ask me a question. Okay. Answer, hold on. The answer to your question once again is, I so, I told you that in the '90s they played like that every single night defensively. That was the defensive monster of those teams. Every night you went out on the court and listen. Listen, listen. I'm not gonna talk to a nigga that look like Ricky Smiley and ask him. I can ask the niggas. Hold on. I can ask the niggas. Hold on. I can ask the niggas who really played in that era. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can ask the dudes. Hold on. Hold on. I can pull up. I can pull up. Hold on. I can. Hey, look. I will have no problem. I will have no problem trying to pull up the day. I will have no problem trying to contact the Davis brothers out the Antonio. Uh, Davis, Dale Davis, all them dudes. I have no problem trying to put all these dudes up and they will explain it to dudes that actually played. So who I'm going to listen to? I'm going to listen to you or I'm going to listen to the dudes that was actually out on the court for these errors. Now, I'm going to say it again to the brother. He, got, I told you, I'm going to repeat this one more time. Last year in the playoffs against KD, he got a taste in four games. It only took him four games to get his ass out of there. He got a taste in those four games of what that type of defense. Now, let's go beyond that. Let's go back to when he played Memphis when he was in OKC. When Tony Allen played 90 style defense on him. What did KD do that series, sir? He got shitted on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now I've given you two different examples of when they played that physical style 90s defense on KD. What happened to his game? So I'm telling you that on a nightly basis, yes, KD has a nice game. He has an excellent game. But his stats would not be what they are now. His legacy wouldn't be what you think it is now scoring-wise because it would have been much difficult for him to score playing against those type of defenses every night. They just showed you a blueprint and a small sample size in the playoffs because, remember, in this era, they don't even try to really play D until you get to this era. Period. Chill town, shut up, man. You only say that because you cap for a dude from Akron, Ohio that don't want to answer a question if he was on PED. Hold on. We're not talking about Can I, can I, can I, I, I just mad quick. You just said in the playoff series, right? So you're basically basing it off of four to eight games. No, 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 you're not hearing, you're not hearing. No, you're not hearing, bro. Okay, let me, okay, let me ask you this question. Let me, let me ask you one question. Do they play defense in the NBA during the regular season? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to ask you this question. No, 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 no. I'm going to ask you this question again. Do they play defense, hold on. Do they play defense right now in the regular season? No. Okay, so hold on, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Hold up, Cowboy Bob. Hold up, Cowboy Bob. Hold on. Cowboy, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just answered Ron. He just answered my question. I asked him with a straight face. Do they play defense? This Cowboy Bob said no. He they don't play defense in the regular season. So now, what did I do? I went to a time where they take defense more serious in the playoffs. Now, what happened? When they put a serious type of defense. A 90 style yeah. defense, a physical defense on KD. Oh, yeah. What happened in those instances? KD wasn't the most uh, uh, prolific and efficient scorer of all time. He came back to normality, sir. I think I'm saying it wrong. That analysis that you're creating compared to an 82 game season is off of a playoff series. You need. To you don't more. even need. Hold on. You don't even need. Let me finish. OKC. 
when OKC and Kobe was alive and he was talking about Kevin Durant, he said he changed his game up and retired too early. So now, with this series that you were just talking about, this 90s-style defense, you mean to tell me in one year KD wouldn't have stepped up his game and learned how to beat it? I'm just saying, 82 games to eight games, that's not that's a real small sample size. You I just asked you, but you answered my question. Eight. Hey, Brian, Brian, with all due respect, homie, because I do respect you. You just answered my question. I asked no, you, I do they play? Hold on, hold on. Let me say it again. Hold on, hold on, Brian, 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 hold on. Brian, Brian, hold on, Brian. Brian, Brian, hold on, Brian. Brian, I just let you talk and get your point off, bro. I, you just answered your question. I asked you straight up, do Lord, they play defense in the regular wrong? season? But you keep cutting me Lord. off. You Hold on. I'm you sorry. keep cutting I, me off. No, hold on. Don't scream for, hold on. Don't scream for Deacon Lowe. You keep this nah, to yourself. It's me and you. Hold on. Hold on. This me and you. Hold on. This me and you. Dog, this me and you. I'm going to ask you again. Okay. I ask you, do they play defense in the regular season in the NBA? You said now, no. No. So now, no. So now, hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. So now what do I have to do? I have to go give you a sample size of when they actually do play deep. So now what I did was I gave you examples of when they I'm play deep. The and listen, it only took four games to get them out of there. That's my so point. Four games to an 82 season. He got swept. He got, hold on. Once again, once again, it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault he got swept. He got swept. Okay. He got swept. Can I just yeah, make one quick point? Because I already yeah, believe that me and you are going to need more time to talk. So let this gentleman go. I apologize. Yeah. But I got some smoke for you when you're ready. So you can continue. Uh, so, wait. So no great players have gotten swept. But is that what you're saying? Oh, I'm not saying. Bro, see, the, you're trying to change up my argument. I'm saying to him, my whole argument was, sir, is that it's important that we, when we look at errors, we look at a different type of play style as we, when we compare players to players in other generations. I always believe, for example, most people say, that worldwide consensus, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Why? Because most people think that Michael Jordan would dominate in any era based off his game. Right now, you I don't would think know that Michael Jordan. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Hold on. 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 We're not going to do this. Once again, I'm going to ask you the question, dog. And the question I'm going to ask you is this. The question I'm going to ask you is, sir, is the question I'm going to ask you, sir, is, is that am I captain? Am I lying when I said that in the different eras, they play a different style of basketball? Is that a true or false? That the, the problem with that question. No, no, no. I asked your question. Is that true the or false? With that question is a catch 22. It's a double barreled question. By answering yes or no to that question, you're answering yes or no to a future question that you've set up. It's not fair for people to answer that question. When Fine. It is fair. Oh, it is fair. It's a come on, come on. I'm gonna it is a normal question. question. Hold on, sir. Answer sir. your question sir. Way, sir. So you're not going to cheat. I asked you a simple question. Do they play the same bro? style of basketball like every era? Hold on. Ron. Ron. See, Ron, this is a problem we have. These 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 dudes don't want to answer the question. The because, question oh, is simple. He, 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 every he, he, era, hold on. In every era, they have played almost a different style of basketball in every era. All I'm saying to you is, sir, is when we judge greatness and different eras, because we were talking about Jokic and how he would fit in, in, as far as compared to different eras, because Lowe was like, yo, I think he's a better playmaker than this guy from a different era. All I'm saying is, sir. Is that when you look at this type of argument and I use guys like Michael Jordan and we say, hey, we think Jordan is the GOAT. The reason why we say that is because everybody that's in this room think Jordan would dominate in the 70s. He would do the same thing he did in the 70s. He would do the same thing he did in the 80s. He would do the same thing he did in the 90s. He would do the same thing he did in the 2000s. He would do the same thing he did in 2010. And he would do the same thing he doing and did when he was playing in 2020 as far as dominate and do the same things he did. And probably he would probably average more points, more rebounds, more assists in this era, sir. So that's what we're saying to well, what I'm telling you with Kevin Durant is based off what we saw, well, because wait, he, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish my statement. I'm almost finished. Let me finish my statement. Based off what he said, Brian, Cowboy Bob, based off what he said, 
he said that they don't play no defense in the regular season in this era. So how can you use the regular season as a sample as far as how you're judging KD's all-time game? Hey, hold That's on, let me finish. Said. You said, That's come on. You, I, I said. Asked you, come on. You can remind me, say, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 Brian, wait, Brian. Hey, Ron, put him on mute, Ron. 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 Ron, put him on mute, Ron. Ron, because we, hold on. We can rewind the tape, sir. We can rewind the tape. No, 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 no. Hold on, bro. You're going to listen. I told you. I asked that man straight up. I said, do they play defense in this era, he, in the regular season? He said, no. I said, okay, that's why you use the playoffs where they are playing D as a sample. And I gave him two different examples of guys who played 90 style defense on KD. And I showed you where his average from the regular season, which they don't play no defense, went down in the postseason, which they were playing 90 defense. Now, what, this is my last point. My point is, so when we say guys, and we we did great guys like John Stockton, like Low and them do as far as his playmaking. We when we put him in this era where it's less defense, more lanes to get open in, it's, and, and, and also more shooters, more athletes, because these guys say it's the best in this era. Now his his advanced stats and his metrics go up because he'd be playing against weaker defenses. He'd be playing with better shooters, better, better athletes, and better floor spacing. And the story, sucker. Okay, can so I can say, I say something, something now? Can I go ahead? You could go. Okay. So the first off, first and foremost, like Brian said earlier, you know that great players adapt and change. The, that was four games. That's four games that KD applied that your quote unquote nineties defense. Now you can use that same. Your problem with what you're saying is that you're not recognizing that what you're saying forward also goes backwards. For everything that you're saying that can happen, they can also. So if that's Wait, the case, bye. doesn't that mean that Michael Jordan will also load manage more because we have more load management in this era? With the, when you say things like that, you're just like, oh well. I believe this is going to happen. And, you know, I watched this guy play, so therefore it must happen like this. Rasheed Wallace was like this in this era. Therefore, since I'm Ron Simmons, it has to be this way, right? It, it, you, you just say shit and don't recognize that your logic is going both ways. For everything you say against them, you can say against the other people in that era. And you don't want to admit that because... Well, do it. Okay, well, name me one person you can say it for. Can I do okay, it? Okay, name me one person. Name me one oh, person. No, go ahead. No, 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 no. I want Ricky Smiley, little brother, to do it. Go ahead. Name no, one person. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do this shit. Where you just one person. You just said. Hold on. You just said you can do it for somebody else. Hold on. I'm putting your ass on the grill. Name one person. Zero. Name a person. No, 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 no. I'm asking. Hold on. I'm asking. Hold on. Name a person, dog. Name. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Name a person. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Name a person. Name a person. Name a person. Hey, Ron. If he can't name a person, get this bum off the screen. Ron. Yo, if he's gonna name a person, get him off the screen. I'm here. I'm not look, saying look, nothing. Look. I'm ready to be. I ain't talking to you, Cowboy Bob. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm. I'm. I'm talking to the dude down at the bottom. Yo, name a person. Look. You just said you can name somebody. Name a person. Name Yo, one. Darkin, I, I got to move on to the next guest. Anyways, you too, Cowboy. But can you name a person before you leave? Figured, a person. I didn't name, get my smoke name, somebody who, name somebody who would have this like the similar. So if KD didn't play as good in um he play would play worse in the nineties era because of defense, who would play worse in like this era? Is that your yeah, question? Name one. Name one. Any person who was offensive offensively deficient. Any person no no no. Who I told you no no. Name one player. player. Name a player. Every single player in the NBA in the 80s, 90s, any era that was offensively deficient, offensively deficient, would not be <laughs> he can't name one, one low. Hey, simple. low. Hey, now, see, low. This is the difference. This is why you guys zero. aren't low. I said Asian because zero. at least, at least, at Asian least, low. At least low. Hold on, you said Asian zero. zero. What? You said he went last Asian in the league. league. Hold you on, you said, hold on, you said, come on, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me repeat this. You said Gilbert Arenas wouldn't last in the 90s. I said he wouldn't last that? in the league now. You what? Can't take hey, Ron, get, hey, Ron, get this nigga, hey, Ron, get this nigga drug test immediately. Get his ass oh, off the screen, Ron. Get his ass off the screen, Ron. Now. Get him off my face right now, Ron. Ron, I swear to God, that 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 Ron, get his ass off the screen, Ron. Get him off the screen, Ron. Ron, get him off the screen right now. Get him off my goddamn face right now. This sorry ass Negro, and this type of nigga y'all cap for in the comment section. This stupid ass, buck dancing, buffoon, uh, go set up the Mountain Reverend Leon Liney Love as Negro. Gonna come in here and say Gilbert Arena, Kibachi, Agent Zero couldn't play in this era? Gilbert Man, Arena, bro, bro, Gilbert, bro, Arena's Gilbert Arena's gonna make two hundred million dollars in this era. Gilbert Arena's gonna make two hundred million dollars in this era, bro. Take Gilbert that cowboy Arena. hat, 
turn it sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. Now get him out of here. Answer, 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 ever... answer you could have gave was um, Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton would be hard. Low. That's why low. And that's why you're low. And them, them, them dudes is no. Get him out of here, man. Spin his ass straight to his. So I want to be clear though, ticket to ticket. When I make an argument about someone being all time great, I'm doing it in respect to the era they play in. And that goes, it's applicable to Michael Jordan. I don't play a hypothetical game to figure out if M, how good will MJ look in the 2000s or in this other. I don't do that. I personally don't do that. It's all respective to the era in which they played in. It's in contrast to the era that they played in, the competition they went on, like how dominant did they look in aspects of basketball in contrast to who they faced. Getting into this hypothetical realm of like what player X did and this and that and the third, because there's, I do agree, there's things that can go both ways. Like you're going to, players will, certain Mm -hmm. players that would undeniably struggle in today's game, and there's players in today's game that will undeniably struggle back then as well. So instead of me running these hypotheticals that I don't have the answer to, it's all in respect to who they are in the era and they play what they played in. That's it. I actually have a question then, Ticket. If if you believe, if you based upon your own thought process, who in your favorite era, which I'm assuming is the 50s or I mean my bad, the 90s or something, um, or 80s, whatever, who from there would not be able to play in today's era? Actually, my favorite era is it is the Kobe Bryant era, is the 2000s. Okay. That's okay, my favorite. Who, who from okay, let me rephrase who from the 90s. Or the eighties, who, who would you not? Who would not be able to play in this era? From the nineties and from the eighties, yes. I mean, I don't really think. Listen, to be honest with you, the game is so weak now. I don't think. I think a lot of them guys will be able to play. I mean, if you look at it, Mark Eaton will be able to play in today's game ticket. Bro, listen, time out, time out. You have you 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 have Mike Muscala playing, bro. You have Mike. Muscala. No, 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 no. Let me let me. Would it would Mike they be Muscala as good? Playing, bro. Would, would, would Mark Eaton be as good? As he was back then in today's game. No, 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 no. You, you're not. You let me say this to you. Low. I'm not saying he'd be better. He'd be better. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be better. There's no defense in his league. Uh, uh low. There's, there's no defense. No reason, wow. bro. Mike Muscala has a job, low. No, 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 Moses Muscala. Brown has a job, low. How, Cut this how, out, man. How would Mark? How would Mark Eaton be bro, y'all better? Get some, I'm, 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 ask, I'm asking you. How would Mark Eaton be better? Because he's not playing against no level of defense, low. Period. Mark, He's not playing. Mark Eaton wasn't a defensive player, though. He was a I mean, no. I'm player, saying, no, no. Player. I'm talking. Not saying him. I'm saying in this era, they're not playing no level of defense. So anything that he could bring would be magnified. It would be magnified in this era because they don't play D. Low. They're scoring 180, 75 points in some of these games. They used, they used to score that many points in the 80s, ticket. No, you're not hearing me. I'm saying. Well, I'm saying. Well, Mark Eaton. I'm saying the way they play today, bro. They're not playing any, bro. The dudes we think that are great, the greatest defenders in the world. Curry just walked in and gave him fifty last night, easy. But ticket, but did you? But do you know why he did that though? What do you mean? It's not because he was endlessly scoring. No, 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 no. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. Hold on. You're not hearing me. You're playing against some of the greatest wing and perimeter defenders in the world, okay. and you're walking through them like they ain't nothing in this era. But do you? But do so you what know I'm saying? Why? What no, I'm saying no, to you is, you know why he did that though? It's not because he was consistently scoring on Paul George and Kawhi. That's not what happened. He was getting switches. What do you mean? He was no. I'm saying, no, 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 no. But you're not hearing me. This is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. <laughs> do you think Curry would have? Hold on. Do you think Curry would have did that in the nineties? No, 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 no. Continue what you're saying, because this, this. Do you this think Curry would have did that in the nineties? Ticket, 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 ticket. Listen. Do you think? Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat myself to you one more time. Do you think Steph Curry would have just walked down the court? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But ticket, but ticket, you're proving my point, though. I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm asking you a question. Do you I think said, Curry would walk down the court? I just answer. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I do know. Hold on. I do know. Hold on. No, I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you. Who in the nineties is guarding a nigga from half court pulling up, sinking that? Everybody, come on. Everybody is, but they pick you up full court. No, they were not. Every every time. Come on, that's that bro. Come on, I just got an NBA player to come on here and tell you they're picking dudes up full court. They were, and they, and, and that they NBA player was low. low. They're, they're picking low. low. That is not Nobody low, 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 low. They're picking you up almost full court. Not how you can pass Riley. Every possession. How you can pass Riley feeling them play, bro? They picking you up. Not every. Not every possession. Not every. No, I'm talking about no. I'm talking about the guys that would that could actually shoot like that. The few of them that was in the league that were from the guard position that could come down and was a threat. 
Who Who can you? You're not hearing me. I'm saying, bro, listen, listen, listen. You're not hearing me. If you listen to what I'm saying, you will understand. I'm saying, guys, I'm hearing you, ticket. I'm hearing you, ticket. But I'm refusing to accept your bullshit. That's what's happening. I'm hearing you, but I'm refusing to accept. All right, man. This is what I need you to do. I need you to brush your teeth and clean your room before you come back in here and talk to me. Ron, get them off the screen. Give me the next one. Behind you and get your back and watch your basketball VHS tapes before you come back up here and talk with me, nigga. I want to know what's going on. You, 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 you shouldn't even be in the room. But I can talk to low. I can't talk to you. Ticket, ticket. You're but you're proving my point about what Curry did last night. I'm not proving Curry, your point. Listen, my point listen, is this. Listen, my, hold on, low. My point is is this. I can get a hundred NBA players that played in the '90s and 2000s to come here and tell you that Steph Curry would not be able to play the same type of way he was playing it, last care, night because they were thinking. Hold on, low. 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 I'm gonna listen to the players that played the game before I listen to somebody who ain't playing the game. I don't care. I'm gonna listen to the players that's out there, bro. The schemes were different. They're picking dudes up, and they're listen. If you was a dude like Curry, they're game planning to stop. They're, listen, because they're, the game was more physical then, so you could do more. This era is harder to game plan like that. But back then, man, they're trapping Curry. They're picking Curry up. They're being physical with Curry. Can I ask you one question? Though? Can I ask you one question? You said. Okay, so your point about the NBA players saying about the like Steph Curry couldn't play in this era, they also I said that play. I didn't say he couldn't play. I didn't say he couldn't play. I said he wouldn't be doing all that he's he doing. Wouldn't be doing all, okay, yeah, no, fair enough. But like if you think about it, they also said that Giannis would be like a regular player. And like for me, he probably hold on, hold on. He probably, hold on, probably, hold on, hold on. He probably would because, and I'm not saying regular. When I say regular, he'd probably be like around an 18, 19 point per game guy. And the reason why I say that is because when you, if you put Giannis, listen, in this era right here, Giannis is a man amongst boys. In that mm-hmm. era, Giannis would be a man amongst men. But them dudes was dumb. Bro, them dudes are just as big and strong as Giannis. He ain't just running through them cat. You think he just running through Dale Davis? You think he just running through Antonio Davis? You think but he I just running that. through Antonio Davis? How are they talking about transition? Know, I agree with I that. Love, I like, hold that. on. I love Giannis, but he ain't just running through them dudes. Hey, right. you, you come out in this era, they have to build a whole team of a wall. In that era, they had one dude that was a wall. Can I, can I, can you I think he run? Hold on, you think he running over Rick Mahorn? Man, let's be real. Have you ever seen how big Rick Mahorn and these guys are, bro? I agree. Full court. Yeah. I, just wanna, I just want to. I want to get this one part off. I want to get this one point off. Ticket. The mm. point that I'm making, and if you if we watch what Curry did, is that he had they were going through switches and pulling right. out the big men. So right. when you're sitting here saying that, oh, he scored 50 on the greatest wings, it wasn't on them, bro. It's, some right. of them were, but a, a good portion of them was them scheming on some of the weakest defenders. And so when you're sitting here arguing that Mark Eaton would be stepping out at the three-point line and defending, no, he would not. No, I'm not saying that. No, no, I didn't say that about Mark Eaton. No, no, we're talking about offense. We're talking about offense with Mark Eaton. No, we're talking about offense. Mark Eaton is a defensive player. Why are we talking about offense? No, 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 Big Country Reeves could not get on the floor in this man, era. Type, hey, my man, no disrespect. What type of crack are you on? Do you know who Big Country Reeves was? Big Country Bro, Reeves would be out here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this thing. Come on. Big oh, Country Reeves, oh, first, hold on. The first couple of years, Big Country Reeves would be out here looking like Jokic. The way he played. He would not have. Wait, he's too he's slow. Take it, take it. Are you out of your mind? Bro, Jokic is slow. Hold on, Jokic is big, yeah, slow, and, 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 he, Are you crazy? And he, ha- and he would have to be so great off these dudes. Don't know. Time out, low. You agree with what he just said about big country Reeves? Yeah, because ticket these players that y'all referring to. Do you not, not know who big country to, Reeves was? I, I, know, I know who he was. I know ticket, who he ticket. is. I'm Listen, saying he's bro. too slow. Big, okay, what was the reason why big country Reeves got the league? Big country Reeves out here giving everybody the business in the NBA when he first came in the league. Cut it out, man. Oh Cut it wow! Up. Ticket, big ticket. Country I'm country talking country about country defensively. He won't bro. get on the floor. It's great big come men on, now on, that on, can't okay, get on, on the floor. Here's why that's cut. Hold on. Here's why that's cap. Because don't nobody play defense in this era. So cut it out. And so and who, this, who this, are you playing? This, and this, and it's a perimeter oriented, inter- uh, oriented who, game nowadays, but bro. The most dominant player. Hold on. But the most dominant players in the league are the MVP candidates are bigs. Ether, nigga, headshot. Take that helmet off. Because they. That's because they can move. Headshot. But the three MVP candidates. The three MVP candidates is Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. Is, Put that is Giannis, Giannis a good pick and roll defender? Is Giannis a pick and roll defender? Uh, 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 so why they at the top of the MVP voting then? Is he a good pick and roll defender? Why are they at the top of the MVP you voting? You didn't answer sir? my question, nigga. I said, is Giannis a good Who's, pick and roll defender? Yes, defender. Giannis is a good defender all across okay, the board. Okay, Big Yo. Country Reeves is not. 
It doesn't matter. Come on. I, Yoke it change. Does it, Yoke, it does matter. It does matter. Yoke is saying he's an MVP candidate. So yeah, what you saying? So yeah, what you're yeah, saying, huh? Give so money. And Yoke is elite offensively. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Yeah. Hold on. Let me finish cooking them. Let me finish cooking them, Lowe. Is Joel He's Embiid elite. a great uh, hold on? Is Joel Embiid a great defense a uh, pick and roll player? No. What you say? Uh, give He's money. A, he, but no, what you say? He not uh, gonna, don't play with he, me. Don't who can do this on, game? Bro. He's do not gonna game. kill you the way big country Duke Reeves would. Come on, yeah, man. And Joel Embiid gets fried in the pick and roll. And you're gonna see in the not playoffs. Not as bad as big country Reeves would. Yeah, they do. Yes, he is. He's horrible in the pick and roll. Yeah, you know what else is horrible man. in the pick and roll? You know what else is horrible in the pick and roll? Shaquille O'Neal, one of the most dominant players that ever played the game. You know what else is uh, horrible in the pick and roll? Right, A lot right. of other big men in the NBA history. Right. And guess and guess what, sir? They dominated you on the other end. So that's a bad example, sir. Sorry. Well, and Chris, and big Country Reeves is not dominating. He's not dominating on the other end. He that's not. the point, bro. He don't give you enough offensively to get on the floor in this era. Yeah, man, hold on. Let's stop this right here. Hold on. Do you now. not come on, come on, hold on. Let me ask him a question. What was Big Country's game offensively, sir? Because you get he had a decent game. He could hit a little no, no, 15 no, foot. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hey, Mark, low, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing, John B. Don't say nothing. Hey, hold on. What was his offensive game? I'm saying he could hit a little 15 footer. He was big. He can he can what finish in he down low. But okay, he wasn't no, the best. So let me give you hold on. Let me give you the records as to his game. He had a great post game. Great post great? game. He had great, yes. He had great That's moves in the post. Oh, nigga. He, he great? was killing. Bro, come on, come on. Did you watch him play? Did you watch yes, him when I he came did. out of school? I'm 40 years old, bro. Don't did do you, this. Oh, come on, come on. Let me say this to you. Did you watch him when he came out of school and came into the league? Yes, I was. I, what did he do? I'm, what did he do? I'm not saying I watched every what game he, he played. First? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're not good. Bro, y'all. What do you average? What do you average? point. Didn't he average around 17 his first year, low in the league? No, no. Second year. He averaged 16. What did he average his first year? He averaged 13. 13. Right. Okay. And what do you average the second year? Ticket, you didn't watch him either, though. I did watch yeah, him. That's I didn't what I'm saying. What game did you watch? What game did you watch? Tell me. Once again, I just told you, Lo, all the games are on YouTube. Go look at the game where he fried Shaq. Go look at the game when he was out there cooking what you call it. Bro, he was cooking. They're all on YouTube. That's like one game. Oh, I'm talking about Lo. Go. I'm watching the full games. They're online. You can go look at the game online right now. Yes, they're, 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 the Brian, hold, hold on, Big Country. Best, hold on, low. Big Country. Brian though. Reeves. Big Country. Brian Reeves got like fifty games online right now. Full games. Yeah, all you gotta do is type type in the Vancouver Grizzlies that year. Full game and all the games will come up on your screen, sir. Ticket. Don't tell those me, are, dog. That's all we do. All best, we do is listen. Those are listen. Some of the best of the best of his games. That's not the though. best. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm telling you, these are games of time out. Low. Once again, what was Big Country Brian Reeves' game, low? What was his game? He, had a, he, had a, he was a solid pick and pop. He really took, a, right. took on a lot of bigs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's say, say that. Hold on, Low. So let's go down. So he's a solid pick and pop. So we, that translates into this era right here. Keep going, Low. I, I, I don't think it does because he has a what shoot from three. He's a shoot pick from and pop. Three. No, 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 no. Pick and pop. Lord have mercy, bro. Lord have mercy. So, so Giannis ain't shooting threes. He's the most dominant player in the game. Because yeah, Giannis, Giannis is, so Giannis is an overwhelmingly dominant ball handler that can get to the paint and drive to the lane. I don't know. Big country reads on Giannis out to the court. How are we doing that? This is a disrespect for Negroes on here, bro. Also, 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 ticket, but ticket, but ticket, this is the reason why. Big country Brian Reeves wasn't out here hitting dudes in the post, up and under. All kind of this dude had moves coming out of college when he was frying niggas coming in the league. That's Cut it out. Guys he didn't play the post anymore. Guys the only reason why Big Country didn't stay in the league is because he got out of state. Also, 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 also ticket, 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 I'll challenge you. What? I'll give you a steak dinner if you can give me if you can show me fifty games of him, full games of him on on YouTube. Bro, all you gotta do is Google it. All you gotta do is look at the I'm YouTube. Right it. now. It's I'm on YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. And you can find dinners. And you can find. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Listen. Some of these games they may have erased because over the time, over the years, M the NBA will go swoop through and erase some of the games. These are facts, bro. You don't have to ask me. You can ask my pro coaches. We all sat back and watched these games online you know because when you have free time, that's all we do. There's 50 games. Bro, low, low, low. Listen. I'm gonna tell you guys who used to watch, low. We used to watch that entire era when he came in the league. When they had the expansion team, he came in the league. We watched those games. We also watched a lot of the Jordan games. Everybody watched I most know, of the Jordan. Jordan, Jordan. No, Jordan. We fine. all watched. Hold on, let me You're finish. You're telling me, finish. me that there was fifty finish. games finish. Finish. of big country leagues. I'm giving you, bro, my man. This is all we did every day. We watched those games and we watched the wire all day long. That's it. 
ticket. There's never been 50 games of Vancouver. Bro, how you going to tell me that, bro? Bro, listen. Damn near a- every – hold on, low. Damn near every NBA game. And some is that from almost what the late nineties on, is some is somewhere broadcasting online, bro. <laughs> Talking about people have grabbed these games and put these games online. They're not easy to find sometimes, but you'll find them if you're looking. And sometimes I've gone back and looked. They've taken videos down because the NBA flagged them because of uh, the uh, of the, what you call it. So ain't nobody lying, bro. And then another thing, <clears throat> another thing, real quick, ticket. Another thing, I real quick. I didn't say Giannis. Hold on. I didn't say Giannis wouldn't be great in the nineties because of guys like Big Country. I said Giannis. 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 I said, and I never said big country reads. I said because of the guys like Antonio, no, Dale no, Davis, yeah. all those people. Well, you said uh, Rick Mahorn. You said because yeah. of Rick Mahorn. Rick Mahorn, right. Don't, it's, I'm out. I think you ever seen, hold on, let me ask you a question. You ever seen Rick Mahorn in person? You, hold on, you ever seen Rick Mahorn in person? No. Rick Mahorn built like a tree. You ever seen Giannis in person? Rick, Rick Mahorn, yes. <laughs> yes. Giannis, LeBron, like Carmelo, all these dudes. Yes, KD, yeah, all these like dudes. An alien. Huh? I said he's built like an alien. Let's be honest. Ooh. Giannis, he's and, literally. And guess what? Talk about, talk about. And you gonna tell Giannis to stand beside Charles Oakley right now? And Oak is bigger than Giannis. What is that? Bro, what does that have to do bro. with anything? With no, I'm saying, no, no, no. Like what I'm saying to you is this. Hold on. What I'm saying to you is, hold on, sir. Listen, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying to you is, you had an era of grown men that weren't just strong; they were country strong. In this era, you don't see them type of dudes like that no more. Once Giannis, I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. I'll give you that. But when you talk about, like, bro, you're not hearing me, bro, bro. First of all, the game was going. Hold on one second. Hey, hold on, my man, my man, my man, John B. The game was slowed down. First of all, the scores in that era were 98 to like 89, something like that. That's second of all. So it would have been that many possessions. Then you weren't able to get off like that because of the way they play defense. It was harder for you to even get the ball. So yeah, the no way they were playing him, fighting him, fronting him, it would have been harder for him to get the ball in that era it just comfortably as he does now. Giannis will catch the ball now. The one on one. Same, so in transition, he's going to be a monster. No, it's right? not tra- tra- he can tra- one-man transition. Trans- hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on. Transit, hold on. Position was different. Hold that. on, sir. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you a perfect example. The transition and all that defense was different because now – it, it, nowadays, if you let, let me give you a perfect example, if you got hit like Draymond got hit last night, it's a regular mm-hmm. play on. What like what happened with him and Morris? Play on. That's nothing. Yeah. Now these dudes got ejected for stuff like that. So if Giannis had to deal with that damn near every possession, because that's how it was physical in the post. Every mm-hmm. single possession you playing, like, you playing against these 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 big dudes every single night, bro. Every team had dudes like this, so it wasn't just. A fight, a, a, a middle fight. It was a physical fight out there every night. I get so you. Next thing, hold on, that takes the toll. Hold on, that takes the toll on you. That takes the toll on you. The physicality of it, because he's one of those guys that actually has that mental toughness. He's actually one of the guys that could. Oh, but you're not hearing me, bro. Listen, listen, listen. You can have. Hold on, you can have mental toughness. The reason why I said it about Giannis, and I love Giannis, I'm one of his biggest fans, is because he can develop other aspects of his game, like a 15. That would have allowed him to do other things. So guess For what? Sure. Him, trying to, him trying to run through dudes, that wasn't gonna happen then, bro. Because guess why? Dudes was bigger and stronger than him. These are facts. And they was and guess what? They was head hunting you. Whenever you came through the lane, Strength you was getting right. hit with a forearm. You was getting hit. Well, you was getting hit with a clothesline. Cut it out, bro. Them dudes is hitting dudes. Them dudes is bumping you coming down half court. We was taught, listen, we was taught to hit a dude before he even came down to the three-point line. We hitting dudes as they coming down. We bumping you off your spot already. They don't do that no more. And that, and, and that that is true. Tickets not lying. You. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's like will Giannis be able to adapt? Lying, man. That wasn't every possession, man. Yeah, that wasn't yeah, every play. Team. That was not right every team. If yeah, you want to say the Knicks, if you want to say the Knicks, sure. Okay. Every team had an enforcer like that. Every team had an enforcer like that. But it's not. But it wasn't ticket. It wasn't every play. It was not every play. Ticket, the Knicks, ticket. Xavier McDaniel. Every you want me to keep play. going? I can keep going. The Toronto Raptors, Charles Oakley when he played with uh, Vince Carter. You want me to keep no, going? Before, every single team. Had to do- ticket before Ch- Oakley went to Toronto. Who was on that team then? Oh, but I'm I'm talking about when he was there. No, who before that ticket? Who was there? I can't even remember who was there. That, that was a friend. That was it one ticket. Stop yeah. fucking yeah. lying, yeah. man. That was a team. You know what I'm saying? That was an expansion that team. What are you talking about? Point, that was an expansion team. What are you talking like about? That. But that's the that point. Like Take that. Ticket. My point is before Oakley got there, if, <laughs> if Oakley famous. removes off of one team, <laughs> 
There's not that many. Can't be. Who's the enforcer on the Sacramento Kings ticket? Anything. What, what year are you talking about? Pick a year. 95, 96, 97, 98. Which, who was it? Let me think. Hold on. Let me go back and think. That, that was before Weber, though. So let me think. I got to go back and think. Hold on. Damn, I had to go back and look at the roster. And I can't just. They were so right trash. Now. Nobody remember that team. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't. I can't. I, I gotta go back and look. But pretty <laughs> much, every, so team, pretty much every, pretty much every team. Hold on, low. Pretty much every team that. had enforcers like that. That every was that contender. Every, every every contender did. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Team. Right. Is this a well, troll ticket with bars? Oh, no, 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 no. Contender in every team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, 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 facts. Those are two drafts. If you want to say contender. I'm okay with that because most contending yeah. teams are defensive oriented teams. No, no, no. Right. I'm saying most every team, most every team had an enforcer. Every, every team. No, no. Most every, every team. team, had every had team. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. You can go through damn near every team: the Indiana Pacers, the New York Knicks, the Miami Heat, the uh, Charlotte Hornets. All these dudes had enforcers on their team. No, 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 that's that's, that's fine. That's, that's four. That's four teams. Okay, okay. Hold let on, me no. keep going. Okay, let me keep going. Let me keep going. Uh, the Orlando Magic. The uh, uh, who's what that, you call it? Had enforcer. Name, no, no, no. Who's, name, name the player. Who was the enforcer on the Orlando Magic? Bo Outlaw. Okay, next. Now wait, let me keep going. Right, I'm gonna like, cook your Bo ass, Outlaw. nigga. I'm the legend of winning, nigga. Wait, 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 before Bo Outlaw was on the um Orlando Magic, who were the who was the enforcer on Orlando? Bro, what year are you talking about? He didn't get to Orlando to 98 ticket. So let's try right. this again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, right. Before and name the roster before that. Outlaw. Name the roster, name the roster 97. Oh my god, ticket. Yeah, name the big men on that roster 97. Was it Horace Grant? <laughs> No, no, I'm saying name the rest of the roster. Was it, was it, I'm about to, to keep name. Is it, was it Cycli? Dennis Scott, Nick Anderson, Ronnie Cycli. And what's Cycli? Shaquille O'Neal. You just said in 97. Shaq wasn't there. No, no, excuse so, me, excuse me. Okay, my bad, Mike. 97, yeah, name it. Name, so, name so, so, it. So, my bad. Who was it? That was the one. Hold on. You picked the one year out of all those years, though? You nasty, bro. Nigga, you said 97. You I just said 97. No, 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 no. I just said, I said, I said no, I'm saying go to year before that. You said 97. Hold on, I'm saying go to year before that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go before that, right? You said, okay. Most of the years, hold on. It's nasty. Most we ain't years, even low, talking basketball low, 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 right now. Low, most of the years, oh. every NBA team had enforcers most of the years. Those are facts. All right, all right. No, no. We, and we're going to go down the list. All right, you said Shaq. When 96, and then there was a gap year. Okay. All between Man, no, all from 96 before it was Shaq. Now let's keep going. What's what's what, what was um Cleveland's enforcer in the in the mid to late 90s? Name their roster. Oh, ticket. No, okay. I'm saying I bro, you, you well, asked no, me. No, 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 I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to go through see, it. Here, here's the advantage. You got the computer. Was it was it was it Danny Ferry? No, no, I'm saying, bro, you see, you didn't I'm, I'm, I'm about to name, I'm naming, that's, that's, that's the player who's getting the most at night. in it. Lowe gets nasty bro, at night. That's, that's the get player nasty, bro. Daddy the player, that's the player who received going, the most low. minutes as a big. No, 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 keep going, Lowe. No, keep going. Was, keep was, it, was it, was it, was it, was it, uh, Mark West? Keep going, Lowe. Was it, uh. Just name the roster, name the roster. Uh, but I'm naming bigs. And, and Tony hey, Mark, Lane. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second, Lowe. Hey, Lowe. Lo, hold on one second. Mars, you ducking Elder one on one. So shut your bitch ass up. Go ahead, go ahead, Lo. You been running from Elder. You hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Lo. Your ass, your punk ass won't step off the player's choice block. Me, I go everywhere. I come over here. I'm on the road every single day. I come over here. You won't go nowhere outside the player's choice, boy. You better keep your ass on this yard. You better not get your ass off this yard, boy. Or else Lo and them gonna have to come pick your ass up. Paramedics pick your ass up. You better not go nowhere else off this yard. Real, you better have real quick. control debate. You better have control debates and a oh, home court yeah. every single game, Mars. Because oh, if you God. don't, that's your ass, boy. I promise you that. You will not come on. The one thing I give about these other dudes, you see low going other places. You see Kill Town to pull up on the channel. All these dudes, the other dudes are pull up. Your little scary ass, you ran from Elder, nigga, and you were scared of that smoke. You didn't want to go nowhere else. You want to be on controlled debates here so your boys in the comment section can cap for your little punk ass. Like I said before, get your ass off the porch, boy, and drop them <laughs> nothing. Let's go. Back to what you were saying, Lo. I, I just, all I'm saying is, Ticket, I think you're making hype. That boy better drop them nuts while I make them drop them. 
period. I think I pause. Oh. Pause. Pause, bro. Oh, he, he, I, I yeah, ticket. Like, we just had to pause you for a second because yeah. that was old. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I, I understand what Ticket is saying. He's a puppy out here. He's a puppy out here. I understand Period. what Ticket is saying, but it's just it's just hyperbolic because there there were teams that were no, not, not defensive. Defensive. They was on every bro. Every team had them, bro. Every was single team had them. Point, though, them teams, teams weren't good, though. Right. Them teams weren't good. Was no, like no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't help these dudes, though, because these dudes is these dudes. When we get bums like this, low, I can talk with you, low. When we get bums like this, dude, hey, we gotta get him on stage. He said those teams weren't good, so the Knicks weren't good. No, I said the what teams without those no, no, type of players. I'm, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on your side. I'm talking about Tyson. Tyson, I'm talking about John B. No, no, I'm talking about John B. That said that slick comment. You didn't say them teams weren't good. I never said those teams. I said who on who on the '97 Cleveland Cavaliers is a enforcer? Which guy? Is right, hold on. You go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let's do this. Right, it's easy for you to go to one year out of ten, but right. if you go to those other nine or ten years, you will find guys. See, you guys are searching one year. I'm, I'm telling yeah, you, most guys majority, you said I agree with Tiki. I agree. The majority of the errors, but they all had enforcers on those teams. I got a rebuttal, though. I can't get the it all. Of them. Not Hold on. The, enforcers, of them the enforcers' jobs were, were to beat up the other team's star player. And the other right. enforcers' jobs were, were to protect the star players. Right. So they had jobs. I, I understand right? that there was an enforcer. So this is why, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second, brother. This is, this is the reason why. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. This is the reason why I said, yes, Curry was still be able to get buckets. But his career to me would have looked like it did the year before Steve Kerr went over there to the Warriors instead of when Steve Kerr got there and he just blew up and just went crazy. It would look more like the Mark Jackson era because it, back then, mm. like I said, if he was going to the right, hold on. No, I agree. You, Steph you. Curry, hold on, hold on. Steph Curry's game is so effective. Don't let it fool you like he's just shooting threes. His game is so effective because Curry Thanks. can get to the right and finish. Back Thanks. then, he ain't get, he getting laid down. If he going there against Tony O'Donnell, man, they laying that. They putting sixteen to the dome on his ass, bro. He getting well, 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 hold on, no ticket. How did you have? How did you have effective guys that were smaller and might even been weaker than Curry back in those eras? Come on, they bro. Tougher. They were look tough. at look I mean, at look at look for example. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Them dudes, they were tougher. What about Chris Jackson? What about Chris Jackson? They were, uh, uh, they were tougher. He was lighting the league up. This dude was they a small tougher. guard Listen, getting off shots. Come on, bro, bro, my brother. They were tougher, bro. They were tougher yeah, basketball not, players. But, yeah, but they came up in that era, so it's not fair to say Curry, who who didn't come up in that era, wouldn't have been tough too. It's no, unfair to say Giannis. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on let me get it off. Because, right, go ahead. Let, let me get it off. Uh, it's unfair to say Giannis, who was faster, stronger. Uh, uh, or just as strong. I'm not gonna say stronger. Just as strong. Who's a better athlete than those players wouldn't be able to uh, excel in that era when he's able to hand check other guards with his quickness and his strength. You know what I'm who saying? And be a better defender. Hold on. Who said? Who said? Hold on. Who said anything about defense? I didn't say nothing about. I'm his saying defense. both ways. I'm saying both ways. No, he would no, 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 big dog, big dog, big dog. I'm saying what I said with Giannis is. Let me say this one more time. I said his game would have been. He would have been around an 18 to 20 point guy then. Because first of all, the league didn't play as fast in the in the nineties. In the, in the, in the, in the, the scores were the score. The final scores were like ninety six to eighty nine. Well, no, no, no. In but the eighties, it was fast. It was just as fast. So, the 80s. But no, no, I'm saying, no, I'm talking about the nineties. No, I'm talking. No, no, we talking about the nineties. Like, right. yeah. But 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 so, tomorrow's so, point. But tomorrow's point. What was David Robinson doing in that era when went on the fast break? Beating centers down the court, getting easy buckets. No, no, you no. You no, saying no, Giannis can't do that? David Robinson. Carl Malone was doing that too. Hello, Carl Malone was beating a lot of bigs. Yeah, Carl Car Malone too, who was who was quick on the break. They get the ball and go. So don't say Giannis wouldn't be doing that because because of because of because of big men because they did it in those Giannis areas. Also, a lot more. He's more athletic and faster than both As, of exactly. Them. So and also, you bring up KD. Handles. You you bring up KD in the nineties, but. The reason why Boston was so effective is because they got the personnel to do that. They got six, seven, six, eight wings who can who can affect that game plan. You didn't have them type of players with that type of athleticism in the nineties at the at at the wing position. That's just a fact. So yeah. when you talk when you talk about those dudes guarding KD, you got to have the personnel to do that, bro. But that's also you not gotta, fair, also because like yo, I've also heard other people talk about this too. Yo, uh, ticket. I've heard you say on multiple occasions. Many people have said this that if Jordan grew up in this era, he would learn to shoot the three because he would learn to adapt. So why is it that guys from this era can't go to that era and learn to get tougher spec. and deal with the physicality? 
But Jordan, how come, that, how come we don't play that way? Right. We only that's, use it in the one way when it's for right. the generation from the old generation to the new. But right. The new guys they don't can take into account. Adapt. Yeah, yeah. The, them players coming up in that era. And Jordan, to me, never would have been a great, great th uh, three-point shooter because if you look at the type of shot he shot, that flat-ass uh, uh, jump shot, that was never going to be a great three-point shot unless he changed his whole s style of shooting. You know I what think, I'm saying? I think he, he would have adapted. I think he would have died. I think he would have become a really good three-point shooter with the I don't think so. Some, mechanics, some players – the mechanics That's like saying the Russell Westbrook – some players ain't gonna be great three point shooters no matter no matter how much they practice, well, bro. But Lon Lonzo, Lonzo changed his whole shot for him though, and he became yeah, exactly. With the cool. show, with the knowledge. Lonzo, Lonzo, Lonzo Ball. Yeah, he can. He changed his whole shot mechanic. He had to change his whole shot. Yeah, but to, to say Jordan whole would. Shot. What yeah. about, um, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say one comparison that I've always seen to Steph Curry in the nineties. That's rare though, Lo. Yeah. Sorry, the one guy I was trying to say was Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. That guy was like he he kind of looked like Steph before the Steph. If you actually watch Fact. him play, oh yeah, if you yeah. Put Steph with his ability, his ability to shoot and and all of that in that era. I mean, yes, he would be. I don't think he'd be as successful as today. I don't. I can't say that because with the physicality, it would be tougher for him. But I still think he would be a successful, like it's a very, very oh, man. great. The physicality like, I still, thing is. I just, gas, yeah, it's, it's a little old. It's a little old. So and players like John Stockton and all those players can be and, successful, and Mark, bro. And Mark, and Mark Price, and Mark Price can be successful. You, and, <laughs> and you're gonna Mark sit up Price here and say that Steph Curry wouldn't be successful. Mark Price is, is another thing. another shooter, Mark but this Price is this is, is the reason why I don't like to do this thing because it's like it's, it's hypothetical. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, we're talking about hypothetical. Yeah, what's the point? What's I'm the sorry, point? I, got, I, I got two quick points. I wanted to talk about Boston, the Kings, and OKC. That's my two points. So I'm gonna start with All Boston. Right. Based on how Boston, this was for, supposed to be for ticket. Based off how Boston's been playing, the way they've been playing against, let's say, the Rockets and other teams, you can see that they break down later in the quarter if either Smart, Brown, or Tatum ain't doing their thing. So for me, I think that they show a lot of flaws in their defense and their offense. That's the first part okay, with Boston. Yeah. That's why I that Boston's going to get knocked out real quick because <clears> they're starting to tear down now when now is the time to kick it in the gear. Now, my second my point bad, is about yeah. the Kings. The Kings, I'm not going to go back into the bad story, but I don't agree with how you don't agree with what the Kings are doing. This is what's supposed to be for Bob. Here's the whole thing. They got a coach in Brown who's a playoff, ex who has experience. You say he don't deserve it, but he has one of the youngest teams, and he's in the second, he's in the second place in the Western Conference. Sorry, yeah. Now, here's my point about the whole thing. You can say what you want to about the narrative or whatever, but the last time I a leader in clutch scoring – is De'Aaron Fox. So how are you not going to say De'Aaron Fox isn't up there with those other guys that you keep putting down as well? This is And with OKC as well, I feel OKC with the young team that they have, they're playing really good right now. I think that they can make a run to the sixth seed and actually push past most teams. Because if you look at how they're playing, they're playing fluent basketball. They're playing back-in-the-day basketball, and no one's really talking about that. So what I'm trying to say to you is, you keep misguiding all these previous, these present facts about how the game is changing. I feel that OKC and the Kings, due to coaching and. Am I bugging? Is that me? Is that Cowboy Bob? I oh, know he froze. He froze, <laughs> he froze up. Hey, my bad, y'all. My, my bad. My phone battery died. It changed my phone. No, no, you sure. You sure. You sure. Boy, you need to get off this. Boy, you need to get that same test bra I need to get. <laughs> uh, somebody, somebody asked me who's a better score, Jokic or Embiid. This question is specifically for me. Um, Embiid is without a doubt a better score. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Yo, that's the What's going on, bro? Oh shit, big dash. Hey, what up, Tyson? What up, Lo? What up, y'all? Tyson, I know you still got some uh some beef with tickets, so I'm gonna let Desto get get it off. Jesus. Here. Tyson. I want to hear what you got to say. Duh personally okay. told me that you got smoke for ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little quick, little, little something he was him been talking about over the past couple uh, uh week or so. Hey, yo, go, go ahead, that's all. Yeah, I did. I want to um come at ticket because the thing with ticket though, and I I watch like I I I mess with ticket on his channel and on this on this channel and everything. Ticket knows ball, but I feel like a lot of times you contradict yourself because it's certain players you don't like and certain players you don't fuck with. What, yeah. Why do I don't like? Hold on. Why don't I like them? I don't know. I don't care. I'm all right. Well, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. We all have biases. Everybody. Nobody can sit up here and say I don't have no bias. From the referees to the officials to the coaches, everybody. So first Thanks. of all, 
Let me shoot down your point right there about biases. Because if you come in here and say something about Trey Young, Ron's going to go crazy. See what I'm saying? Because he yeah. has his own bias, right? These are facts. Nah, so I, I just at that point you just put out there right now. Nah, now, I, I don't like, hold on. When you say I don't like certain players, let me tell you why. I'm going to give you a quick example. I don't like Draymond Green because he don't keep the same energy. Draymond Green went and socked out his own teammate, but got pimp slapped last night by Morris and didn't have the same energy. Right. That's example number one, right? Okay, example number two, sir. I don't like AD because the season is on the line. Your team needs you the most, but I'm going to let the team doctor say I can't play. No, you're the superstar. Kobe Bryant wouldn't have did that. Shaquille O'Neal wouldn't have did that. Urban Magic Johnson wouldn't have did that. None of the all-time greats who did that. He's supposed to be uh, all-time great. Shaq, I don't know about Shaq. I don't know about Shaq. You play. No, 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 no. That, no, no, no. If the season was on the line and you had to get that game, Shaq is playing that game. Shaq is not saying, oh, well, I'm going to let the darkness keep. No, no, no. He's playing. He's I playing. think that's fair. Especially the Lakers. So that, that's deep. This is the reason Kawhi Leonard. Why I don't like Kawhi? You should like him. Why I don't like him? Because I'm a player who believes that you should rob the fans. But you load managing all these games, take your time to get back. When you could be playing and you leaving in the doctor's hands. When it's bull jive, you don't have to. You're a superstar player. You co- you guys control the narrative. Y'all can go get the whole medical staff fired if you want. So how okay. the hell can the medical staff tell you when you can and can't play? No, uh, that's on you. Uh, so I don't, I, mean, like, I, I, hold on. I don't like how these dudes move. The, 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 I don't like LeBron James. Why don't I like LeBron James? Not because I don't like his game, but I don't like his delusional ass fans for one. And I don't like the way he moves and carries himself and disrespect all time greats and legends in the game that came before him by saying he's the GOAT. When he got six NBA Finals losses on his docket, I don't and like the fact that he goes up to the oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't like the fact that he goes up to the podium after the, the Finals when he gets his ass kicked, okay. puts on the cast, puts the cast above the table, and says, "Hey, man, um, well, hey, I, I broke my hand in Game Two, even though you were dunking <laughs> in Game Three, yamming in Game Four, doing all these crazy handshakes with Bronny in Game Five. Cut it out. Don't nobody want to hear that. Like I said, bro, let's just keep it a hundred. KD, why don't I like KD? I don't like KD because he left his team in OKC to join the team that smoked him. No, you don't do that. You run that back. Y'all but went take, seven games. But, but you it, went to go team up with Curry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then after that, after that, you let Draymond run you off. Then you ran off. You went to go be with Kyrie, got smoked. And then guess what? Kyrie asked for a trade. Then you run again and ask for another trade. But then you asked to be traded to one of the top teams that was in the West that had just went to the finals two years ago and signed. So these are different reasons why I don't respect different players and like different players. So when you say that, sir, put it into context why I'm saying what I say. But ticket, but ticket, but ticket. Well, I wanted to say this real quick, and then you can go that stuff. But ticket, that's what I think that's a perfect example of contradicting. Yeah. You sat there and said that you don't <laughs> like one player because they didn't play, even if it's an injury or not. Because of their because of the season was on the line, but then on the other no, no, it wasn't just because of that. It's because of the But listen, but listen, listen. But then you turn around and you criticize LeBron for playing through something that potentially was something that hampered him. He still I didn't criticize him for playing. No, 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 I didn't criticize him for playing through that. I criticized him for capping and lying. See what I'm saying? But See, here's the thing, Hold on, 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 they got footage of him doing all kind of dances in the pregame warm up, all kind of shit. Now, if your foot hurt that bad, how are you doing all that? And as soon as you break the score record, you go to the bench and say, "Man, my foot hurt. I can't play no more." Ticket. Again, He's talking about the hand. The hand right? thing that you brought up specifically. You brought up an instance where he, where he oh, hurt come on, his come on, all-star game. In the finals. In the finals. No, no, in the finals. In the finals. No, 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 no. I said no, no. I'm saying he. No, no. Listen, what I'm saying no, 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 no. I'm saying he was lying. I didn't say that. Yeah. I'm saying I'm saying he's lying. I'm saying you went to the podium and said I broke my hand in game two, but then you said, but then you was out there dunking all crazy and warm, was doing windmill dunks, well, all kinds of. How do you know he's lying though? How do you know? He's I saw it. Come on, come on. Hold on. Once again. Hold on. Once again. I'm gonna say this. Why are you using that as an excuse to say, oh Nobody man, well I broke my hand? Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. We know how this go low. As pro basketball players, we know how this go. When you come to the post game podium. And you put your your wrist with a cast on it above the table and say, "Yeah, <laughs> man, I broke my hand in game two. You're putting an excuse out there in front of the but world. Why, but but no, you, you know what the real? Hold on. You know what the real thing is? He's lying. No, he's not. I'm saying, come on. 
I'm saying he was lying, and here's the reason why I'm saying he was lying. Because after game two, go look at game three. They had the pregame warm-ups. He's doing all kind of windmill yams. He's doing push-ups, everything crazy. Go look. Go look at his pregame warm-ups. Go look at the games. Then the same thing with game four. Then he goes and does all these crazy daps with the same hand with Bronny in game five. And then oh, game, the last game of that series, then he walks out the tunnel. The next time you see him, he got a cast on saying he broke his hand in game two. What's up? He broke his hand in game two. What I'm, what I'm saying, though, Boy. is that you're missing my point. I, we don't know if what he did. Let, uh, who knows to the extent to the hand was broken, whatever. But if there's an injury and he played through the injury, but what's the excuse for then? If you hold on, if you but listen, this is what this is this how I grew up, Lo. I grew up different than you. Guess what, Lo? If you're on the court and playing, there ain't no excuses. We don't want to hear if you lost. We don't want to hear that your pinky so hurt. But, okay, don't so, hear that you broke your hand. So don't play then. So don't play. No, 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 that's, that's fine. But that's fine. Right. But there's been other <laughs> other instances where multiple players have done it. They did that with Tim Duncan several times. That's Ooh, right. when, when did Tim, hold on. When did Tim Duncan ever come when it, and blame him losing on injury? When when they, when they, when it, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan don't really say much. But what I'm saying is Popovich used to come out all the time and say like the X Y Z player is hurt and that's no no that's no no, that's not, no I'm talking about the player. I ain't talking about the coach. That's something else. So, the coach so, said. Ticket, so ticket so ticket. You're telling me that I if I Google this I won't find not a single '90s player. Coming out talking about their injury after the, after a game, <laughs> using the injury as an excuse for them, how they lost. Ticket never once, never. LeBron once. didn't come say on, nothing. Come on, come on. He didn't say shit. Name me, come on. name me the player who name me the player who went and used their injury as an excuse for why they lost. Why he got when swept? Did, when, did, when did he say that he was an excuse? Exactly. He, 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 he went to the podium. No, he went no, to the podium. He, he went to the podium and said that the reason why we lost was because our man was broke. He said, he said, yes. He said, I broke my hand in game two. He says, and that affected me in this series. That's what he said. Then he went on to complain about how well built the other team was. Go look at the interview again, Lo. They were well built. I don't know what you <laughs> but if if I if but I, 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 I but, no, but he won't build his team. But he won build his team. Okay, so what? It's a well built team. That's not a that's not that's a come fact. Come on, come on. Man, these le excuses is crazy, man. It's not an excuse. That's just a, a depiction of what happened. No, 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 no. He, he said that he hurt his low, head. Low, low. I'm gonna give you an example. Low, low. I'm gonna give you an example. Low, low. He hurt his head using the whiteboard. Right, right, right. Hey, hey, some some questions. Hey, give him context of what happened, bro. Hey, just so here's the example. When Kobe when Kobe got swept by dirt, when Kobe got swept by dirt, Kobe went to the podium, and you know what Kobe said? He said, "It's on me." He said, "You think I'm just gonna? You think see that? Think I'm just gonna pack and the bags? We gonna and, go away?" And, and Kobe he said, "Wait, I'm not gonna do that." He said, "It's on me." Oh, oh, when Kobe when Kobe got beat by the Boston Celtics, when he got beat by Boston that first year, when Bynum got hurt and didn't play, did yeah. Kobe ever once make an excuse for not having Bynum? Did he ever make once an excuse for not having? Well, 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 no, he, 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 he did in the past. He definitely said that before. But ticket, no, 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 no. I'm I, when did he go ticket, to it? When ticket, ticket, ticket. If I go back. Go back. He's had, inter he's had interviews. With, he's had interview with Derek Fisher where he said that. Pull but it if up. I go, if if I go back, you're telling me not Kobe, not Jordan. You're telling me that I won't find any post game interviews of Carl Malone or Charles Barkley or pull it up. Any? I won't. I won't find it. I'm tell on, tell on. I'm gonna say this one more time. Y'all want to put a stake in on it? I don't you remember. Not. I don't remember none of the superstars. Using injuries as an excuse for why they lost after they lost. I don't remember them doing that. I remember if the media said it, if the coach said it, that's something different. But normally, there's a rule we live by. If you step on the court and play, you healthy. We don't want to hear no excuses after. So if you get you get your ass whooped, you take that L and you go home with that L. But you don't come after and allude to your injuries that you had that prevented so, you from so doing I, something. So Isaiah, so Isaiah Thomas never said anything about how he – Sprained his ankle in that final series. Oh, it's cool. No, it's all good. Man, what did I'm, Isaiah I'm Thomas do? I'm ah. asking. I'm asking. So I, I don't I go know. Look, I don't know. Low. I didn't you see. You said it. never. So low. Tell me. I said I never saw it. I didn't. Okay. No. So no. Hold on. No, no, if, 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 if I find that though, wait, wait, if I find that, if you find that, if you find that, if you find that, I will acknowledge that. Low. But here's what I'm saying to you. Here's the advantage you have right now. You got a computer where you can go type it in and search, try to search every video to find one guy. See, here's the thing. You can't think of that off your dome. 
See, this type of shit I'm telling you. I'm almost almost Karma alone. I'm almost 100 percent sure did say that. Hold on, I'm telling you shit off my. I'm telling you stuff off my dome that I can tell you that they happened. Well, ticket, well, ticket. It's not my fault that you're using hyperbolic statements. I'm not using hyperbolic stuff, bro. You are. You're saying it. You don't know if it's true or not. You are. See, look, look. No disrespect, but this is different when cats play the game and cats don't. It's a different lingo. It's a different language. It's a different understanding that we have. Give a fuck. Understanding, low. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this to you, low. The understanding that we have is. Low, it's this low. Here's the understanding that we have. If you are hurt, and Chill Town notice, he'll say this too. And Flo Floor will say this too. If you are hurt and you step on the court and you lose, don't nobody want to hear injury as an excuse after. By all period, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. Ask Bob, he'll tell you. You can zoom Bob up, he'll tell you. We don't we, that's, that's our rule we have. That's a basketball player's one rule. We don't make excuses while we lose. As a leader on the team, you take that shit on the chin, you go get your team right in private. And you go come back harder. That's what you do. You don't get out here and make excuses why you lost because you look weak when you do it. All that being, oh yeah, what? Yeah, that's that's yeah, you know, really. that's just bias though. But at, at the end of the day, it, it, did you did you ball or not? At the end of the day, bro. With, regardless of what motherfucker said, you might not like him because they said that. But at the end of the day, did you ball? Did you not ball? No, no, did no, you no, win no, or did I'm you not lose? He didn't ball. I'm not saying he didn't ball. I'm that's all I'm saying though. Wait, hold on. Right, right. If you don't like him. No, no, Tyson, when Desto right. said when he that, hold, Tyson, watch this. You might you. not like a certain player because of the way he move or something he do, or something right. that rub you the wrong way based off your principles. When Desto but, said what he said, I'm telling him that everybody has those biases, bro. No, that's fair. That's off, fair. Off a different, so I'm telling him, I'm telling Desto his argument off the rip is flawed against me because you can't tell me one person on this earth that's perfect and is non-biased towards anything. That's not true. Nah, take it. All I'm talking about, you, you talking about all this other stuff like, oh, oh, a person switched team or a person got hurt and all this other stuff. I'm just talking about how they how they play. In, in, exactly. In, okay, well, in, in, give me an example. In, in, in they, in they give me an example. So give me an example. example. For example, I was on I was on this ticket versus world like some months ago, and I heard you the other day on the panel. You told me early in the season, Zion was better than Stephen Curry at basketball. At that and time, I no, I said he was playing better at that time. I said he was okay. ranked higher, but at that time, I uh -huh. never said he was a better basketball player than Steph Curry. I said at that time, he was playing better, he was playing better. Zion was playing some of the best basketball in the league. The, the Pelicans were the number one team in the West, right? So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Guess what? Hold on, but guess what? Hold on, guess what? One thing we talk about in basketball every single day. Your resume updates every single day, every week. So guess what? Okay. We have gone melts in the season and Zion hasn't played. So guess what? His resume has been updated since that time. So you can't hold me to the same statement then that I you held me. Now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to show you right now, young fella. Hold on. I'm about to show you right now. I'm about to show you right now. Look at the whole done. world right now. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on one second. Look at the whole world right now. You know how many people in the world, sir? had a probably a different perspective that really didn't know John Morant, but a different perspective of John Morant before he flashed the gun to now after he flashed the gun. So now all these people that had a certain perception of you, now since their res your resume has been updated, you did that. Now a lot of people have a different perception of you than what they did. You understand what I'm saying? Before, based off of what the events that happened. So you go from the beginning of the season with Zion when he's killing He's looking like an MVP candidate. CJ McCollum says he should be the MVP and they're in first place. To now he's hurt. He's out of the lineup and they're almost out of the playoffs. That's uncomparable. He was playing at a higher level and better level than Steph Curry was at that time. He was because he was leading his team. It was effective and they were first in the West. Curry has been balling all season long. Hasn't had any effect on his team winning. Put that so in your pipe. Curry Curry out. Out. You take Curry out. What's the record? I'm, I want to talk about on the court. You talking about all this John Morant and all this shit. I'm talking about. No, no, no. I'm giving you on the court. Come on. I gave you on the court with Zion. Look, even then, Zion was not playing at a high level. He was. Level. Okay, so let me ask you this question. How was his team first place in the West? Hold on. How was his team first place in the West at that time? At that time, you're talking about his team was first place in the West. And Steph, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. And Steph Curry and wasn't even in a play in at that time. Let's bring it back. God. Anyway, no, oh my god, no, 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 that's go. We're gonna do it at the that reason, time. Reason, that's Curry reason, and the Warriors. Hold on, hold on, reason, hold on. Reason, hold on. Reason, and can Lo can go look this up. Hold on, that's though. Lo got the computer. Lo can look this up. See, this is the problem with you, young fellas. Y'all devalue the effect on winning. Yes, y'all see. Come on, and I'm gonna tell y'all how y'all do it. 
You guys will look at certain players you like, Desto, and this is the. Hold on, Desto. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, Desto. This no, is no, the no, bias. No, no, no. Hold on, Desto. Wait, Desto. Desto. This is hold on, Desto. Desto. Let me explain something to you, young fella. This is the bias you use against your that falls back against your own self. Because listen to this, right, Desto. We we will look at guys who have averaged damn near thirty points, thirty one points in the past, and they haven't won. And we won't say, hey man, hey man, they the greatest player in the game. Why? Because hey. You have a certain body. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that is I'm going to give you a perfect example. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Bradley Beal, the last couple of years, had averaged 30, but the Wizards weren't winning. So nobody respected his 30. Why? Because the Wizards weren't winning. It didn't matter. Oh, wow. Wait, hold on. Let me finish, Desto. It didn't matter what the That's Wizards bad. did or did. Hold on, Desto. It didn't matter what the Wizards did or didn't have around him. Nobody talked about that. Nobody talked about his lack of teammate help and production. They only said Bradley Beal is putting on 30 and he ain't winning nothing. He need to get out of there. That's what they were saying, right? You but Steph Curry this year, hold on. Not last You're year. Hold on. Let me say this. Hold on, low, low. Don't help them, low. They don't need it. Daddy ain't here to help. Them. Hold on, low. So, but this year, hold on. Hold on, Desto. But this year, Steph Curry is averaging 30 and doing the same thing Bradley Beal was doing for all those years. But guess what? You come in here and say, oh, no, but you can't put him. But even though Zion at that time was averaging like 27 points, his team was first place in the West, and Steph Curry's team was out of the play-in, period. You can't do that, bro. We, and this is the reason why Dame Dollar said the stuff he said the other day, because of dudes like you. No, because it's because it was like you. Like you. What do you mean? No, 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 so salute to them brothers. And, they, and, and you can ask any one of them NBA players. They know I stand for the real, nigga, straight like that. You can ask any one of them, nigga. How about this, Desto, Desto, where do you rank Dame Dollar and Damian Lillard in today's game right now? I think Dame is like a borderline top 10 player. I, I got him right. Okay. Maybe 11. Well, I also think that Dame is either like number 10 or borderline top 10. I also think that Shea is like a top 15 player. And they're on losing records. So like I don't know what you're talking about, ticket. Like I, I no, I'm talking brain. about no, no. I'm saying no, no. Hold on, low. He said I was wrong at that time when Zion was averaging 27 and the Pelicans were first place in the West. Steph Curry was averaging 30, but the Golden State Warriors were out of the play-in at that time. They weren't even the play-in. This is back when they had a loser. Go look it up. Okay. He still said that Steph. Hold on. He still has Steph Curry at a higher level this season than Zion. I said, how was that possible? When Zion player. was the leader of his team, they were in the first place, and you're going off history and reputation with Steph Curry. I'm going off what's happening now because he's a better, better basketball. That's okay, cool. All right, all right, cool. So if he's a, hold on, low. If he's the better, if he's the better player. Why the hell? They, why the hell they lose so many games this year? Don't tell because, 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 because you because you because ran Zion high because he up. because he went. You're not giving Steph Curry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey, hey listen, listen. The all-time great ones are able to elevate their team in certain situations. He can't do it right now. So Kareem, so Kareem didn't do that then. I didn't say that. I said well, right when, now. No, no, no. When Kareem, when Kareem I, missed the playoffs. I never, no, no. I never said that. I said right now. That's why this year I said he did it last year. But I said he's yeah, not doing you, it right now. That's the reason why I told Kareem, Kareem over here. Where do you rank Kareem? Playoffs. When Kareem missed what? the playoffs, what, did he not? Did, are you saying when he didn't miss the, when he missed the playoffs, are you saying that he was not a top five or seven or ten player? No, I would not have had a rank over because his effect on winning was not there. I value winning a lot. You so, guys so, don't. That's why you're the legend of losing. No, I think I think what ends up happening is this is my arm. I'm gonna keep saying it. The reality is that y'all have to rely on winning buys, especially. No, we don't. Goals. No, we listen, don't, bro. We're, listen to what I'm saying. Look, and the look, reason look. why is because there weren't that many games accessible. So you hold on, to but make, low, you, you gotta, gotta add. To make, you gotta, hey, low. Like Elder said, you gotta add context. Why was Kareem losing at that time? Oh, but, that, but that's what that's all you want to do. Hold on, I just said that so. I just said that so. Hold on, that so. I just said, I just said that I give you no excuses. That's why I didn't have him there. That's I said, you with, no, I said with Elder, listen, 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 listen. Elder said for low to add context to that because see, look. If we add context, hold on, 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 hold
if we add context to both Zion and Steph Curry, guess what? The context of Zion is is that his team fell off because he was hurt most of the season. I Brandon agree. Ingram hurt most of the season. Hold on, hold on, I right, agree. right. You say the same thing. Come on, you can say the same things about Steph Curry and his team. He was hurt. Games. I agree. We agree. Right, hold on, but, but hold on. But listen, hold on. So he, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Here's the difference right here. When they both was playing, Steph Curry still getting his ass kicked and can't win no games on the road. Zion was first place in the West. Now put that in your sport. pipe and smoke it. It nigga. is not a team sport. It's a team nigga. sport. Nigga. It ain't a team sport when y'all all y'all do is celebrate Steph Curry and down everybody Ticket. else. Ticket, can it's I, 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 I have one true. question to ask you? I have one question. In, in 1975, who was the best basketball player in 1975? Bro, I have no idea, man. I wasn't there. <laughs> In 1975, who was you? Okay, who were you asking me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You asking me about the year that you know me were born, sir. I wasn't even born, but who were I don't have a computer. Hold on, hold on. I don't have a hold on. Let me say this to you. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this to you. John B. John B. John B. Let me say this to you. John B. John B. John B. John B. Let me say this to you. John B. 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 I don't know, and you don't know. We don't have a computer in front of us. Only person who has a computer in front of them is low and desktop. I do. I do. I, do. I have oh, a computer. I don't want. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. But I don't. I don't to kick. So I can't give you an answer that I don't know. Who would you, who would you, you think is the best player in 1975? Who would you think is the best player? I don't know, bro. I, listen, I have no idea, bro. I got to look at who's in the league, what happened, who was hurt, who wasn't hurt, who played a certain okay. amount of games. But guess what? Hold on. Guess what? You could call up an average. But if you ain't looking at the details and the context of the season, for example, if somebody was just come out the blue and say, hey, man, LeBron James averaging 30, da, 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 you'll say, damn, man, he, he, shit, he's he 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 one top three players in the league. But when you look at it in context, he wasn't. I get, I get, I, I 100% I get what you're saying, but the vast majority hey, of people would say that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in 1975 hey, hold was the on, best. Hey, hold on one second, John B., hold on one second. Hey, hey, Ron, don't take that, hey, Ron, don't take that super chat off the screen. Hey, that's he takes. You say I'm the biggest clown when it comes to basketball, but your punk ass holding the football. Stick to your sport, ho. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, look, Tiggy, this this is what I was saying. So er, earlier, I remember we were talking about the Zion Steph Curry thing. If that's if that's how you you grade your players, I'm, I'm not you just just stick with that. Because the other what week, what are you talking about? Stick with that. Talk about, what do you mean stick with that? Hold on, what do you mean stick with that? You was talking, you was talking about how you elevate your team and how Zion had his team first. No, I'm telling you, hold on. I'm no, saying no, everything is great. Everything equates into what I put into a player. A winning uh, is is one of the things that goes into that. I understand, I understand. But so I, I understand how, how Zion got hurt, and his team fell out. I'm I'm not gonna hold that against your taking nothing like that because I know I, I I apply context. I know how everything works. But in the same breath, just a, a couple weeks ago, I don't know. You had Dame ahead of Luca when Luca was firmly in the playoffs, and Dame wasn't even in the play in. Come on, that wasn't true. Dame was in the play in. That's a lie. Okay, At that so time, Damon like, 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 just thought the plan. Damon them just fell out the. Damon them just fell out the AC like the last week and a half, sir, because they lost like four, five, three games. It doesn't matter because Luca was still. They uh, just uh, thought. Hold on, Damon them was in the. Hold on, when I said that Damon them was uh, in the play in, sir. They were okay. in the AC. Hold on, hold on. Damn, you get what he's saying, bro. You get what you get what he's saying. You see what I'm saying? Okay, okay, hey, saying. Oh, oh, Come on, okay, doctor. Okay, doctor Lowe, help him out. Help yeah, these little boys you out again. You get what he's saying, ticket. Damn, he's trying, trying, trying to be ten. Hey, you trying to play he's semantics? Not, you're not at the same standard. Help, but help him out again. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. This is what you do, Ron. Ron. This is what you do, Ron. You are a Rudy Pooh candy ass. You'll bring five dudes against me on my own goddamn going <laughs> show. I got to hey, with five brother, dudes against me. I've been agreeing with you a little bit for that, nigga. I've been agreeing with you a little bit. Hey, Ron, you really think this is comedy, don't you? You really <laughs> think this is comedy, don't you? That's all right. I'm, 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 I'm ready back. for Tyson to get his stuff back. off so I can just have me and Ticket. I, I just want me and Ticket for like 10 minutes. I just want me and Ticket. I'm going to get your ass. I ain't hey, talking about you, Lowe. I ain't talking about you, Lowe. I ain't talking about you, Lowe. But Ron is here. Oh, my God. I'm talking about you, Lowe. I want to get something off real quick. I want to hear what Tyson got to get off. And I just I just need – because I just want – Ticket to understand right. what everybody else is coming from, but Tyson, what do what do you guys say, bro? Please, I I just want to know if Ticket was still on the PED nonsense. Oh my god, of course he is. Just real quick, just real quick. The PED ticket, the PEDs, PEDs. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, what about it? Uh, I was just uh, I was just you know browsing the internet a little, uh a couple days ago because I've been uh pulling up to your channel, listening to all the nonsense y'all talking about the the he allegations. He need to he need so to respond. Not, oh, let, me let me ask you one question, sir. Go ahead. It, it, is Kel Shana, is Kel Shana a liar? 
Yes, yes, he is. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on hold let, hold let me finish. Hold, let me hold, let me, hold, let me hold, get hold, to hold, it. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Wait right there, wait right there. Who is he lied on about PEDs? I don't know who he's lied on. I don't know what no, all no, he no, said no, about no, all no, the PEDs. No, no. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Come on, come on. I'm going to say it again. Who is he lying about on PEDs? I said, I don't about? know who he's lying okay, about. Come I don't on, know all on, the I allegations. Come on, hold on, hold on, let me say this thing. Come on, come on. This man has accused six different people of using PEDs. Four okay. of those guys, four people popped dirty and two didn't respond. Tiger Woods who? and LeBron James. Okay, who did, who, who, what did he say about LeBron James in 2013? What are you talking about? What did he say about LeBron he James? Said, he, on said he didn't like LeBron. He said he didn't like LeBron because LeBron hit on his wife at the Anderson Silva fight. Did you believe that? <laughs> you believe he pushed no. the child uh, kid? Hold on. You believe he pushed the kid's wheelchair out the way no, when, that, no, when, no, no, when, no, when he came for autograph? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me, tell me. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. It's, and this is what makes everybody mad. You guys have, people have heroes in their lifetime. Guys, they no, look up no, to No, 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 no. Answer the oh, question, oh, oh, my nigga. Hold on, nigga. let me finish. Uh, Can I finish? Hold on, bro. Hold on. I got to finish my statement. You when you grow up, up you have people that you look up to, regardless of if it's sports or just in life. Mm -hmm. Everybody has it, right? You may, you, may, you may look up to Kobe. I may look up to Kobe. I may look up to Mike or something like that, right? Now, Thanks. watch this. Watch this. When something happens that you don't think, because sometimes uh -huh. we put things on levels. Listen. We put these dudes on levels and we don't judge them as human beings from afar when we're watching them. We seeing them do great okay. things and okay. going life and on the court. So we don't I, think this person is capable. Hold on. We don't think this person is capable of doing this or capable of doing that, right? So I'm going to say this to you, right? It's been a lot of stuff that has been said or have been alleged that ha that I've never spoken about when it comes to LeBron James. I've been behind the scenes. Guys have talked about, guys have known. Because one thing you know in professional basketball, your teammates know you better than your family. The people that you be with every single day, you travel with all season long, they know you better than your family because you're with them all the time. So they all, all these people know. Listen, listen, let me say something to you, right? I played yeah. professional basketball all these years. Every time I went out to party, my family might not know, but my teammates know. They seen when I went out that hotel. Yeah. Hey, hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. My family seen what I was doing. I mean, excuse me, my teammates seen what I was doing. You understand what I'm saying? So they, they understand me. Hold on, let me say this. They understand me and what I got going on better than my family sometimes, better than the fans and the people that's, that, that just come around and see you when they put you on a certain spotlight. What we have to do is we have to take our human feelings out of certain things when we analyze situations right. and look at it. That's so what I on, want you on, to do, bro. Hold on, that's what I want you to do. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Hold on. Let me get this to you, right? So once again, Kel Sonnen has accused six people of using PEDs. Four of those people. Hold on. Let me finish, sir, because these are facts. You can Google this. Four of those people, you. hold on, four of those people pop dirty. Everybody said he was lying when he accused John Bones Jones. Guess what? But after that, Bones Jones gets suspended for a year for PEDs. Now, let's go back Jones to the situation with Mary and Jones. The same that's thing he said about That's a lie. Hold on. That's a lie. Hold on. That's, that's not a lie. lie. That's, that's not a lie. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question, sir. Baller, baller, hold on, hold on, baller, baller. Baller, baller, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on one second. Because you're stealing bricks. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second, sir. Hold on one second. So John Bones Jones didn't get suspended. John Bones Jones has been suspended multiple times. Yo, yo, Ron, times. you put me on mute again, Ron. I'm leaving the fucking show. Jo Jones has been suspended multiple times. It wasn't just last year. He's been suspended multiple times in his career for drug use. This is not the first time. There are multiple times he's been caught using this. And, right. and MMA, for people who really know about Chelsea Landon, maybe he might, be, he might be telling the truth about this, but he's also a personality who talks a lot. A troll. About Troll. Big, big ass troll. Troll. Shot, he, literally, shot. he literally started the Conor McGregor. He was the Conor McGregor before Conor McGregor. Exactly. So he was shit talking like G. He, so, he, he made I, all these statements. He made all these statements about LeBron saying he talked about his wife, saying he pushed the kid's wheelchair out the way at, 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 a, at a MMA event, saying just all kind of stupid shit. Called him a twat, called him stupid, all this stuff. So now when he comes out with some more stuff to troll and get likes for his little podcast and whatnot, he come out with this yeah, and yeah. ticket just eating that shit up because yeah. he's a LeBron hater. So my that's only that's point that's to him was uh, stop, yeah. stop, stop, Stop using that bias and and, yeah. and believing a troll and using that all against him when the shit Jones is obviously fake. Jones was already caught for that, PDs what, far before yeah. before Chael Sonnen was calling him out. Chael Sonnen just recently called him out on the PEDs because they asked him a question in an interview asking him if he had done PEDs, uh, if he if Jones was on PEDs, and he said, "Yeah, I was also on PEDs, but I knew that John Jones was on PEDs when I fought him." 
Probably, I won't even lie. He probably was on PEDs at that time. But when Jones had been caught, that was before. It's not a way year before. Ago. It's been years and years ago. PEDs. He's yeah. been caught for PEDs. He's been like yeah. so what more Jones than once. Taylor Swift is talking about has already been has already passed for a while now. Right. That's what I'm My saying. Bad. I had to yeah. I had to intervene because like I actually and, watch and, MMA and like I don't yeah. like, like yeah. if you know what you're talking about when that type yeah. of stuff makes a difference. He keeps saying, Oh, you gotta take your personal feelings out of it. And he's right, and he's using and his personal feelings to to it, to uh, it's, it's, crucify it's, LeBron. It's, 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 he he wants that to be believable. And I'm not saying it's is 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 true or it's not true because me neither. Me uh, neither. Yeah, because yeah, we, we don't know. I mean, we you know we, we still gotta see the evidence about it and everything, but I mean it, it, right. it's, it's it's of course it's believable for Tiki because he, he wants that to be the case. Yeah, yeah. He but obviously on that side for of a player it. That, for a player that he likes, then it's gonna probably be dismissed. Right. You know, but to believe a, my point is to believe feelings, though, but he got his personal feelings all in it. Yeah, but to believe a, a known troll, to believe he's made racist comments, he's made all kind of incendiary uh, comments about right, all kind of people. Trustworthy. Right, right, right. He's he's proven that. That was my only point. I didn't know if he knew about the 2013 uh shit where he was just talking shit about LeBron and obviously using his name for clout and he doing it again and he you know take it all believing that shit. But anyway, man, I'm gonna let y'all have it, man. I'm going for the day. All right, yo, yo, Tyson, we all gonna be gone for the day. You see, y'all wanted me to mute Tiki. Now look, the shade. Yeah, you should have did that, Ron. Same you should have did that. Hey, wait, wait, Ron, Ron, Ron. If you don't come back, or Dub is going, he gonna host me on on low nose. Right now? No, right now. If Tiki not gonna come back, <laughs> you about to start Tiki versus World the low nose? <laughs> we can do low nose right now. If Tiki not gonna come back. Yeah, we're gonna start up a new stream now. I, I, I do I do want I do want to ask Low something about this uh this whole MVP thing. Might as well do it on low nose. Might as well do it on low nose if ticket not gonna pop back up, man. Yo, is he gone? You're muted. He got it. They're gonna start a new stream with the low nose banner and all that shit. Can't, no. Low nose go. coming up right Can't now. Go. All right, all right. I might pull up. Y'all right, right. yeah, pull up for this. Dub, Dub, we can't hear you, Dub. We literally can't hear you, Dub. We can't. No. We can't. <laughs> no, still can't. You just talking and you ain't changing not a thing. You ain't changed no settings. You just keep talking. All right, y'all. 